So we got 23 minutes. I'm not going near the events hall. Let's go on a tour of the shopping district. We're just gonna look through look through the shopping district. So for for those of you who are new, if anyone new is listening, uh, shopping is members only, so you'll not have seen it yet. But once you hit members, this is the glorious shopping district. And you got uh, shopping, more rules online, unstock shops will be removed or auctioned, do not modify or edit another player's shop, no farms, beacons, or villagers, respect shop height limits, no general stores, you cannot merge two plots together, one shop per plot, do not steal or remove items that you can't afford, only two shops per player, respect market value, no pop-up shops, do not build outside of your marked plot, it will be trimmed. And then we have on this side, a very handy dandy little map which I don't even know if it's been updated so what we're gonna do hello rocket it's a rocket we were just taking a peek at the maps lovely lovely map set up rocket's got something in his hand that frightens me oh it's a sign what's rocket doing with the sign we get to see magic in action Rocket's going to say, everyone's first first stop must be the Modern Forge. Use your brain. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good one. Uh, you'd honestly be surprised how many people don't do that. But uh, I was going to go to the left, but I'll do it with the right, because um, we'll, we'll, we'll poke through Rocket Shop first. Right here we have Modern Forge, which is one of the older shops on the server. Uh, Modern Forge has been around for at least as long as I've been on, which was uh, almost two years now. I want to say I started playing, um, let's see, playtime. I joined on the 16th. Yes, I'm streaming Rocket. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm taking everyone on a tour of all the shops. And Modern Forge does armor, lovely, lovely armor with a full enchantment, netherite, saving yourself the time and effort of having to get all the, uh, ignore that sign, everyone. <laughs> no, don't ignore the sign. You're supposed to use your brain. Come on now. Ah. Yeah, exactly. You need to use your brain when you're in here. Um, um, usually what happens when you come into a shop, for those of you who've never been in our shops, you come in, you check out somewhere in the box or on the box will be a price tag. In this case, 15 diamonds for one fortune hoe. You can see here, someone has paid 15 diamonds. You take your diamonds, you put it in the slot, you take the item, you take the item away, you leave the diamonds in the slot, and you go about your day. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you're the fine new owner of whatever it is you're buying. Most important sign there, absolutely 100%. Um, so Modern Forge has just all sorts of, and they are vanilla enchants. The stuff on here are all vanilla enchants. I'll show you. You can tell a non-vanilla enchant now, new update, fantastic. Uh, non-vanilla enchants have orange or gold lettering, depending on if you can see properly or not. I cannot. I call it orange. Um, so Fire Protection 10, obviously, is not a vanilla enchant. Unbreaking 8, not a vanilla enchant. Swift Sneak 3 is a vanilla enchant. It's one I added myself. So, as you can see, all these have vanilla enchants. But it does save you, like I said, the time and effort of getting the item, making the item. Hey there, Max! Glad to see you made it. Uh, saves you the trouble of getting the item, enchanting the item, either with books or an enchantment set up, you know, all that whole nine yards. We got an elevator set. Uh, oh, I... Blah, 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 blah. Armor kits, tool kits upstairs. All in one boxes to get you started. You've got the netherite box, 225 for a full box. You can actually see it here. Everything in this box. Now, when you buy this box, you'll not be getting the, uh, the... Oh, they're named golden carrots now. My thingy broke. It used to say golden pickles. I am sad. Uh, pickles? And you won't be getting me. You'll be getting carrots and you'll be getting no moral totems of undying. Hey, GL! Happy to have you here. 
and you get a full set of netherite items, including an elytra. You get a potion of fire resistance and a smithing table and a phantom membrane to, to repair your elytra. You get like all sorts of good stuff in this box. Uh, the diamond box, if you're just starting out and you don't quite have full diamonds for everything else, great box, great value. All this stuff gets you started. And the ultimate starter box, which is literally just some basic diamond armor, no elytra, a shield. Man, I cannot recommend shields enough. Yeah, golden pickles are my favorite. Regular uh, carrots look like uh, pickles, like the orange carrots or green pickles. I got, I got some somewhere. Uh, and then you've got the elytra box. This is what I recommend, uh, 45 diamonds. This is what I recommend for anyone who's asking someone else to buy them an elytra in the shopping center. Uh, drop the 45, get an elytra with mending and unbreaking already on it, and a full set of firework rockets to get you going. All in one box, can't beat that. An enchanted elytra is 30 anyhow, so you know, 15 more, you get a shulker, a nice shiny shulker, and all the rockets in it. It is a great box, highly, highly recommend. Um, our elevator system for new folks, you click right to go up, uh, right now there is no up, so it's telling me can't find a suitable location. You shift or crouch and right click to go down. And then we go down again? Yeah! Yeah, I see. I knew there was stuff down here. Um, this is Rocket's buyback area. Rocket buys back tokens. Rocket buys back Azul armor. Rocket buys back monthly stuff. Ooh. Make sure you're looking in the correct box. Like, don't try to stick your Azul items into this monthly box. No, no, no. Azul items get you one diamond block, monthly items get you four. Don't try and take four diamond blocks for your Azul items. Check what you are doing. That, I cannot recommend that enough in the shopping district. Just look at everything. Make sure you look very carefully. Even if you've been in there two dozen times before, sometimes people change prices. All right, here we got glass. Just nice, shiny glass. You, you can see examples of all the different glasses and you look into the barrel. Uh, barrels here do double chest, so you can fit more, and barrels are less laggy on the server. So you look in here, and that's where the price tag is. One diamond per stack. You put your one diamond in, you take your one item, you run away. Doop doo doo. You got uh, glass by only ferns. Every shop should have a name, and it should have the shopkeeper on it, so you know who to reach out to if there's any problems. Mayan buys back ancient debris, so if you have ancient debris, you want to make seven diamonds. Uh, also, also buys back netherite ingots, you want to make uh, 30 diamonds. And blocks, if you want to make 30 diamond blocks. Mayan is a monster when it comes to mining in the nether. He's not kidding when he says 10 thousand pieces of ancient debris. This man is probably responsible for a good third of the box that I have of, of cinnamon rolls. Six million pieces of netherite, probably much higher than that. Uh, is Mayan even on for me to ask? Uh, Mayan is not on at the moment, so I can't ask. Yep, decorating with uh, netherite blocks and ancient debris. So yeah, if you have any netherite needs, right there. Including lodestones. Lodestones are in there too. We've got Dunder Mifflin Scranton Department by Mr. Bearman. You come in here. Customer of the month, Red Byron. Nope, nope, nope. Customer of the moth, Red Byron. Ayo, Mallow. Happy to have you here. You can get paper for one diamond for 128. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is. Is Bear out of stock? Oh, okay. He's got he's got uh, 12 diamonds per shulker. You can get yourself a shulker of paper for all your paper needs. Doop doop doo doo. Doop doop doo doo. What? Bagels? I bet Rose ate them all. Bagel day, one per employee. Goodness gracious. <sighs> Let's see. We got we got a nice clock on the wall. We got Skinner, stop hiding. Oops. Stop hiding in people's walls. Do do do. Ad break in five minutes. Oh, what what? Uh. Um. 
These are coming out great. Let me just snag one. Hee hee hee. Yeah, no, I don't. Mm, I need an adult. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Do 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 do. <sighs> Good lord. All right, here we have Bed Addict by Benedict. It's a pun. If you have any needs for beds, you just come in here. You can mix and match. Four beds for a diamond, one shulker for eight. All the beds you could possibly want. I highly recommend the green and the lime. Best beds ever. And then, showroom on the second floor. If you have need for a nice fancy bed, click the beds below the carpet. You can actually sleep in this bed. Like right now is not Betty time, so I can't sleep in there. Uh, tip jar. Don't forget to reset your spawn after testing a bed. Yeah, because you don't want to wake up in here. You've got bunk beds. You've got a nice little couch lounge. You've got... Oh, it's a hammock. Oh, that is cool. I like that. It's a very nice shop. Very, very sweet. I, I enjoy a bed expense shop. One of my favorites. Casino games got me stocked with beds. <laughs> See, I didn't do that down today. Uh, yeah, I cannot, I cannot deny. I do have a whole lot of, of beds from the uh, my favorite shulker shop, which is Rocket's Casino Game. Uh, mini Trader, Decor Trader Mini Blocks. You can come in here. You can get all sorts of mini blocks, black concrete, uh, snow blocks, stones, just everything. Every sort of block you can think of. We got uncommon, nether, stuff, end dimension, produce, ores, more, uh, rare blocks, valuables, 1.20 items. Ooh. Oh, sniffer eggs and cherry logs. That's, that's pretty sweet. Um, uh, hermit craft heads, more hermit craft heads. So many hermit craft heads. Do, 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 do. You got copper themed blocks. Monthly trade fair blocks, uh, amethyst themed blocks. Then you come up here. Do 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 do. Uh, auction room only the rarest blocks. There is not currently an auction going on. So sometimes people do have auctions. You do kind of kind of have to peep around and look around and do the thing. Unfortunately, I cannot hop into the lobby. If I hop into the lobby, it messes things up for me. So, uh, Fungus Among Us, owned by Mallow. This was originally owned by Fenris. Mallow has graciously taken over. I, I think I think it might have been an auction plot. Um, and not only did Mallow take over, but they're continuing with the glorious Mushroom Kingdom. So you've got a whole mushroom. Oh, oh, you can just pop right out the other side and come into the back alleys. Sneaky, sneaky. But yeah, if you have mushroom needs, you got Fungus Among Us. And then over here, we have one of my favorite shops, For a Fee, Decimal Point. Which, if, if, if you don't know uh, the periodic table, Fee, F-E, is the symbol for iron, and it's an iron shop. You can get blocks of iron. Blocks and blocks and blocks of iron. Uh, elevator, back stuff only. You got a bed. Why Why is there a bed in your shop? You don't sell beds, man. I don't understand. Do you murder in your shop? Some people murder in their shops. They'll say, meet me at my shop. I need your head for something. And then they just murder each other. We're all geeks, we know. Yeah. The Lorithorium. Warning, deep water. I'm kind of, I'm tempted. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't okay. That w that was less excitement than I thought it would be. You got uh, elevator back to the top. There's nothing in here to look at. Oh, wow, that's really on the top, man. I don't think that's what you intended. Ad break. There's an ad break. If you're a subscriber, you don't have an ad. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to fly down. Ad starts. Here comes the ad. Warning, deep water. We come up here. Lorithorium. Basically, uh, 
uh, collect your newly lowered items here. Put your items in payment here. Please read this book. Uh, see our shopping posts, for example, of our lore. If, like, as an example, let me take a quick look at my e-chest. Is that, okay. So, this sword here was made for me by Decimal Point. And the difference, the item, blah, 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 the lines and words on it is what we refer to as lore. You got a name. You've got that uh, lovely little chunk of text there. This long sword belonged to the angel Zeriel before her fall from grace. Fashioned from celestial steel, it gives off a faint glow and hum. The weapon chooses who can attune to it and who can't. It desires a wielder who embodies bravery and heroism. And for some reason, it's attuned to me. I don't know. I don't question these things. I just take the hand I'm dealt. So basically, the shop here is you can get Sandy to lure any item that you want with whatever you want and whatever colors you want. So that's a lovely shop. Uh, we got six minutes to the end crash event. Let's see if we can finish this line of shops. Seahorse, Equine Purveyor, Merchant, Blago Roll, Okay. Well, some of you people with your usernames, I swear. It, the first time I tried to pronounce Girba's name, I had to ask. Welcome! Buy a horse, yes. You pay here, yes. You pick up, yes. To purchase, leave payment here and take supplies, yes. On slash map, the buildings have an S on the roof. Pick up your horse from one of our districts, yes. Shroomshire, Stonefall, Prime Rock. Winterville, Wader Ridge, East Hampton, Alpha City, Oceanside, Beverly Hill. So basically, you uh, pay for a horse, you get a diamond block per horse, you pay, you put your diamond block, you get your horse, you can take a fence, a lead, a saddle, and a name tag, and then you, I'm presuming, do you not have, oh, there's an anvil back there, okay, so you rename your name tag back here, yay, nice, capital tokens, woo woo woo. Uh, use this to name your horse or name your name tag. Then you go to one of these areas, you find their shop with a horse, you slap your name tag on it after paying for it, slap your saddle on it, you're good to go. You may... Actually, I wonder if they're already tamed. That would be the best way to run that sort of shop. Because horses, they're not like dogs, they don't stick. Perhaps <laughs> you all done your vote for the day. Okay, so this shop, I'm looking for, oh, there's a sign, I'm just blind. Annoying Crafts by RTX Sheep. It is a work block shop. Any of the work blocks that you need for villagers or decorations or anything like that, you can find in this shop here. Uh, one diamond per 12. I'm not sure what that's meant to be. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, are we, are we out of stock? But yeah, you can find all your work block needs. This is not the only work block shop. We will find another one later. I don't think we'll find it on this go round because, well, the event is soon. Okay. Uh, this shop. Oh goodness gracious, that that sign is giving my eyeball fits. Uh, here, here we go. Here's the name. All pots glazed terracotta, functional art ceramics by Hoihi. God, that burns. That burns so bad. You can buy pots. You can buy fancy pots. Decorated pot. You can buy all oh, the decorated pots. Pottery shirt patterns on Gray Street. Big sniffer head. But yeah, so you can buy pots. So many pots. All the pots. That is a really nice decorate. Decorate. Decored building. Decorated building. I can speak, I swear. Okay, we got Z Zigali's Forest of the Underworld. I went in here the other day looking for warped wood, and they didn't have any. Like, all their warped wood was out. Yep, nope, still out. But yeah, if you need warped materials, this is a good place to go. Unfortunately, uh, out of stock of some things, but you know, check back. And you can always poke... Give a poke to whoever uh, runs the shop to let them know, hey, you're out of stock. Maybe I could buy some. Owner, Lord Rainbow Man. This is uh, uh, a block shop. 
You've got stone. Very, very handy. Lots of stone. Well, maybe not lots of stone. You got granite. You got diorite. You got andesite. Uh, you got cobble. Man, cobble. Come on. Put payment at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Cobble. And you do have some stone cutters if you decide you want to uh, give that a chance. Rainbow's Rock Shop. That's what it's called. Not block shop. Rock shop. And this will be the last one we look because we got two minutes. Uh, and this is going to take a little hot minute. Uh, Cyber's Maps. Which is this lovely shop. You can get this hand. You can get this cat. You can get all these little stickers and leaves. And it looks like the Halloween collection is still in. And hey, getting ready for Thanksgiving. If you celebrate, you can get your own little turkey to put. Yeah, slap, slap this sucker on the side of a stone block and you've got a nice little oven. And you got more stickers there. Elevator to go up. At one point, this was a, it would dispense random map arts. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, I hit snooze on that by accident. Uh, there's nothing else up here. Okay. Let's start heading back to the event room. I always shut doors behind me. Yep, heading back to the event room. Do do do. We're not even going to look at these other shops. There's lots of really cool shops still to see. Maybe maybe we'll continue this after the event if people want to know. Shops in the shopping district change so often. Really great wool shop we just passed. Yep, we will definitely check out that wool shop. I need to buy more wool anyhow. So, yeah. Coarse fruit is the one you eat. Yes, coarse fruit is the one you eat. Popped coarse fruit you cannot eat. And those are the ones that get baked. 420 just blaze it. Okay, alright. So, how close can we get there? Oh! Evil, evil. Why did Rocket leave those there? Okay, we sit here in the corner. Sorry, you're here late. It's all right. You've got like a real life or something. I don't know. Ugh. I'm getting ready for the event. Got 38 seconds. Going to the event server soon. Yeah, people should be able to hop into the event server. And the event server has more room. Uh, I came back at the wrong time. Can't enter survival. Taking my brain meds. Black and brown. You like to pretend that you have a life. You have kids. So you've got like multiple little lives in your life. You gotta Are there are they still full of boogies? Your kids? Or are they just boogies? Like fifteen hundred for fifth and sixteen hundred for fourth. Yeah, we are currently in a vote competition with some of the other servers on the official Minecraft server list. Uh, we are killing it. They're just boogers now, not full of them. Okay, cool, cool. I remembered you talking yesterday about how your children were unwell. So, let me in, Rockets, let me in. I want to be the first one in. Get away, Spot Coder. Ha ha, I was first. <laughs> All right, so you come over here, got to get your souvenir. I got my shiny ender pearl block. There will be a first, second winner's prize. Yeah, first, second, and third place, or maybe just uh, the places for the three. Can't open them to see what's in them because they are privated. Um, and then if you want to put your stuff away, like I'll put that away just to get it out of my inventory. Oh, uh, soon, soon, soon. This is the pre-island. This is like the waiting island. We are still in the regular world. Um, gotta be careful. If you fall off, you just fall in the water. But you still gotta be careful. Because if you fall off, it's a big pain in the butt. There we go. Uh, all right, we got potatoes. I think we got a couple ender pearls. What you think? Wait by the start here. Okay, all right. So, basically the goal 
is to ender pearl your way from here to the end and be one of the first to get there. And to do that, you gotta toss your ender pearls. Wait here to start. Ha ha ha. You did. You did, man. You did. Oh, we can watch him still falling. Still falling. Still. <laughs> woo hoo hoo. Everybody's falling. Let's <laughs> keep inventory on. Nope, you lost all your ender pearls. Fell off the edge, you lost all your ender. Ooh, I like the space suit. Nice. Okay, let's put that back. That there. There we go. Put another ender pearl in my hand. We're good to go. Gonna get gone. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I am completely expecting to die quickly. And not, probably not even get to the end. Because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not great at these. You have to throw your ender pearl wherever your ender pearl lands, you will land. You will just teleport there. So if you throw it in the wrong place and it lands in the um lands in the void, then you die. You'll be back at the beginning. Um and everyone ready for some endermites? Yeah, yeah, there might be endermites too. The the one the main problem with ender pearls is that you do take damage when you land so if you're not careful you can kill yourself ender pearling even if you make every single shot so you just got to be careful with that all right we got uh, 74 already in here I can't remember oh no total online is 74 36 in events right because I wasn't paying attention to assume the glass was next to the island you all look cute in your space suits. Do we look cute? Oh, we look so snazzy. Look at that. Look at me. Ready to get going. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Memorize what the look is. Let's see, what is that? Oh, that's that's an actual play, player head. So for space suit, it is an orange leather, orange leather. With dune ammo, ammo, armor trim and diamond material. Pants, these are all, yeah, they're all dune. So, can we keep the spacesuits after this? Nope. Sorry. If you can get them back to the main server, you can keep them. Hey, 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 hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, how quickly does everyone think I'm going to die? Like, you think I'll get at least, oh, there we go. We've, we've started. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm already in the void. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, yeah, because I hit the back of someone's head. Oh, okay, there we go. Let me eat my potato real quick. Oh! Well, that sucked. Okay, so what we will do is we will not have Ender Pearls in our offhand. Because obviously that one failed. Okay, so. Let's see. Oh. Ender Mites are all around. I've got to make sure I don't. Oh, can someone kill those Ender Mites? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna take damage and die. Yep, yep, okay. All right, I got a little further that time there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, go into there, got that one. Go into there, got that one. Okay, go in, try not to hit people in the back of their heads. Okay, alright, I need to eat my potato and try not to get killed by an endermite. Ah! Dang it! They 
dang andermites. Okay, all right. There we go. Is anyone even near done? Oh god dang it. No, stop it. I haven't even begun to be able to do my thing. Uh, that's so annoying. Okay. Okay, and then over to that one. Oh! Well. Down we go. Yep. Oh, God, this is so annoying. And the fact that I lose my um, crouch or my speed every time I die. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Can I eat my potato, please? Thank you. Dang it! Did Bear punch me in the face? I think Bear punched me in the face. Because I was definitely on the platform. Oh, I'm gonna end them, right? Ah. Okay. Last attempt. Cause I can't even get, how, how high up can I toss this? Can I cheese it? <laughs> oh, I'm stuck in here. I want to get, I want to get up here. Okay. Was there an enderman trying to eat me? No beds in the end. Who would have exploded? <laughs> Wait, there was a bed? Who put a bed in here? Nerds. Okay, alright. So that's where I need to go. Way up there. Okay, this is cheesing it. This would not count if I actually managed to get up there. That's so cheesing it. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I ha I stand zero chance. I don't know how everyone else is managing to do it. There we go. Can I go to this island? I want to go to that island. Oh no! <sighs> well, at least I took the Endermite with me. Okay, all right, okay. I saw the ship and I hit an edge. I was up there with you for a while. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Hoo-hoo! That one almost got me. Okay, we gotta get... No Andermites, no Andermites. Okay, alright. Come on, potato. Come on, potato. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Oh, oh, there's endermites over there. There's endermites over there. Be careful. Yes. Oh, I almost punched Chapton. I almost punched Chappie off. That would not have been polite of me. 
especially after I've been... Okay, so it looks like that might be a little... Ah! Dang it! Dang it! All right, yeah, no, I'm... I'm gonna cheer on everyone else. Who needs more, who needs more, uh, ender pearls here? People can have ender pearls. Ender pearls, ender pearls, people can have ender pearls. Oh, wait, wait, now we got a sword? An <laughs> ender might slayer. Anyone need more ender pearls? I got more ender pearls. Boo, boo, boo. More ender pearls. I'll just donate my ender pearls to people who are more capable than I am. I've told you I suck. Look, I got pickles. I got pickles. I got pickles. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta start from the from the very be from the very beginning. Okay, all right. Uh, I guess I get back to survival. Okay, here we go. I wanna see what they want. Turtle chain, turtle chain. Who, who is in here? Oh wow, there's still, there's still a lot of AFK people here. That made it difficult for all those poor non-vote, those uh, vote ranks to get on. Okay, we're going to go back to the shopping district to finish our tour. Okay, let's see. We finished off at Clossy's shop, right? Where's my rockets? There's my rockets. To one. To one? Ooh, my face. Boop, 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 boop. Survive. Okay, so we're gonna go now to the end. Boo boo boo. Alright, this was Klossy's shop. This is where we left off. Klossy's map art shop. Or no, Cyber's map art shop, sorry. Klossy does map art too. Sometimes I get the two confused, especially since they both got C's. All right, let's take off the speeder. Uh, quartz by Rinshu. Ooh, 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 ooh. For bulk orders, please message me on Discord or in game. You can buy uh, Nether Quartz ore, Nether Quartz Quartz. You can buy pillars. You cannot buy, oops, regular quartz because he's currently sold out. And I knew that before I opened them because I've I've been buying a lot of quartz. I'm currently no longer buying quartz, so why are you Oh, hold on, I gotta do something real quick. BRB. Stream Alright, so how's everyone doing? Is everyone doing good? Ba 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 ba. I hope everyone's doing well. Alright, let's get back. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this shop is a mangrove swamp shop. And this one is run by Boinkles. And it has all sorts of lovely stuff. We got, uh, I'm guessing this was meant to be bulk. Bulk of something, but it's currently empty. These are saplings, if you need some propagoos. Propagoos. You want just the wood, you got some logs. You want some roots, get the roots. Tasty, they're quite tasty. Uh, that's a lie, you can't actually eat them. Oh, that was a mixed pack of everything else. Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing there now. I guess if I open it, yeah. Okay, there we go. Swamp things. 
Uh, we got muddy mangrove roots. Oh, that's that's me. I was like, who's in here sneaking up behind me? It's it's me. Uh, we got mud. Only really scared to love that option is paid to put together. I can I can understand that. Uh, packed mud. If I didn't buy in bulk, I probably would have loved that too. Like when I was just starting out, I loved packs like that because all I needed was like a few of this, that, or the next thing. But now all of my builds are so massive that it doesn't make sense to only get a couple stacks usually. Uh, mud bricks. You can get mud bricks, you can get clay, you can get vines and mangrove leaves and moss carpet. And um, someone doesn't realize that you can just uh, use a pair of shears on the ends of your glow berries and you don't need to string them. You do need it for regular vines, but glow berries you can just shear the snip the end of it and you're good to go. Oh, look at that! Hmm. I think Boinks likes pickles. Right. And then next door we have wool actually, which is a wool shop. You got all the lovely kinds of wool. Brown wool, yellow wool, orange, and red. Took me like a hundred days to discover that. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, I, I was trying to put it in a place that wouldn't be easily recognizable. So, yeah. Um, all wool is two diamonds per stack, which is the bare minimum you're allowed to charge for wool. And uh, you can get bulk upstairs. This is usually where I do my shopping. You just come up here and you grab whatever you need and... The reason why it is so well stocked with all this bulk is because somebody knows me and they're prepared. Grayscale pack, a practical, sensible choice. Again, if I didn't build in such huge amounts, this, this would be perfect. A variety pack, uh, that is a great one there too. If all you need is a little bit of everything. A rainbow pack, it, it's, it's great options. A variety packs, great options. Do, do, going back down and coming out. Out the side. Blinks. Here we've got Klossi's Gallery. Okay, here's Klossi's Map Art Shop. I kept saying Klossi when I meant Cybers down there. Okay, so I always get confused how to get in and out of this one. Yeah, Klossi's. Welcome to Klossi's Gallery. Shop info and commissions. You can commission. I currently commissioned a piece for the den which I have not used yet because I am slack going up with the elevator nope no suitable elevator she makes us walk up the stairs seriously Klossy you've got an elevator sign right there okay uh, you got the turtle painting the lovely turtle painting which is on display at Boinks's small shop uh, coming soon nothing on display there coming soon nothing on display there and then you hop up some more stairs to get up here, do do do. Oh, I think that's a private door. I'm not going to open that one. I'm not even going to try because I don't want to lead anyone to believe that they can get in. Okay, so we got a crouch to get down to the basement. Oh, hi, Labs. Hi, Frog. That's a regular map art. Okay, over here we've got me. It's me. And it's only ferns. Got more maps below. I'll have to walk down there in a hot second. Here we have. The Staff Full Wolf Collection. If you've ever wanted to see the staff, like, okay, here is me. Me as a wolf! Ha ah, ha! He's in it at the best! I do already have the uh, full collection, so I'll not be buying any today. But every staff member has been represented in a map form. Well, at least as of the time of the collection being built, uh, there, there's some newer uh, staff members that are not yet. Oh, and here, let's look at the Blinkies. Blinky? Ah, oh, lightning bolt! Oh, nope, that's, that's where we want to go. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's some new staff members that haven't had maps made. Uh, vaporwave poster, very pretty, very colorful. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, the way you get this kind of sticker effect is you make a map on a glass platform in the end, where it's void. And then the, the only thing you see is, like, the carpet. Like, all this was made with carpet. You put the carpet down, you make your lovely map, 
And then anything that you don't have uh, carpet covering shows invisible. You put in an invisible item frame, you can throw it anywhere you want. It is fantastic and great, and uh, lots and lots of folks on the server take advantage of it. We call it sticker art. Okay, more down here. Down here we got the Triceratops sticker, the Brontosaurus sticker, the T-Rex sticker, a 2x2 two two eggy dino. Older maps. Hmm, I might have to come in and grab some of these. Six diamond blocks for a set. Okay, alright, okay, alright. We have looked around the entire Classy Map Shop, we're going to figure out how to get out of here. There we are. Oop, and we leave. And you got to walk this way. And you got to walk that way. And you come around this corner here. And here we have Classy's Potion Shop. I'm going to come around the front so you can get a look at uh, Classy's Potion Emporium. Very lovely. Do, 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 and you can find all the potions you could ever need. Uh, and then you go down, and you can find more potions. And if you have like a bunch of glass bottles for whatever reason, you can sell glass bottles back to Glossy. I uh, don't need the shulker. You get all these harming, slow falling. This is bulk. This is the bulk section. This is where I do my shopping. Uh, now, the, the one that you need the most of, that, that's very important, this one is uh, Splash, just standard Splash Weakness, or is that Lingering? Oh, here's Lingering Weakness, okay. Selling glass bottles, I have tons of them for my witch farm. Yeah, uh, Klossy does buybacks, um, a sack of glass bottles for a diamond. You come in, you exchange them, you're good to go. Uh, yeah, Lingering Weakness Splash Potions. You toss that on the top of some bedrock and it will turn into cobblestone. And then you can break it and get rid of it. Um, XP bottles. All sorts of lovely stuff. Top floor, bottom floor. And we're gonna leave. Boo. 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 Alright. Now, on the other side of the street, Pink Street. We are on Pink Street. We got just concrete. This is by Labs. Come on in and happy shopping. Just concrete by Labby. You got the lovely, lovely wolves. That This is the Lab Wolf and this is the Frog Wolf. It took me a moment. Wait, are you? <gasps> you have two different eyes. Nice. Bulk pickup order. This is where I would be if I needed to, but I also have a bad problem just coming in here. Like, I think I bought that. Yeah, I, I buy and buy back buying shulkers of sand and gravel. Get the tough stuff, concrete it. We sell bulk. Message me in game or on Discord. Sometimes I just like to come in and buy out people's shops. Uh, shulkers! We got shulkers. This is Max's shulker shop. Souvenirs, one per customer. I think I've already gotten one, so I'm not going to worry about it. Two per shulker box. So two diamonds and get you a nice shiny shulker box. And I don't think, I don't think Max does shelves. Oh, here we are. Shelves. Two shelves. Two diamonds for two. Yep. So I highly recommend having shelves. Like I have a, a box of shelves here because that's the equivalent of 32 shulkers. This is a stack of logs, and I'm good to go. 32 shulkers. You just have to craft them. And they're not taking up all of my inventory space. So, yep, that's, that's, that's cool. Oh, look at this pretty pink prints. Okay. So, yep, that's one of the, there's three shulker shops. Four that sell shulker shells. Uh, Glow Ink, one diamond for six. You got uh, Squink. Glink Ink. That, I know it was some sort of weird name. And that's, uh, where's the owner sign? Where's the owner sign, my friend? I know who owns it. But how is anyone else supposed to know who, oh, there we go. Lord Skitter. Okay, good, 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 good. Didn't have to get on anyone for having not followed the rules. 
Uh, we sell sponges, bulk items, prismarine, now open, come on in. Temple of the Guardians, owner say, need bulk to the Queen Key. This is Queen's lovely shop. You can get fish, you can get sponges, you can get, uh, these used to be my all-time favorite form of lighting. Sea lanterns, because they were kind of greenish. Uh, now, green frog lights have supplanted, but you can get uh, custom order pickups. You can get all the prismarine varieties and stuff to make them. Empty barrels, need bulk. Okay. Do, 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 do. And here, next door, we got the Queen Bee, which is full of privated. Okay. Oh, we gotta go down. Down, down, down. Or, no, we go up. Ah! It's... We're inside the bee! We're in the bee! Not the bee! Okay. Uh, you got honeycomb blocks, honey blocks, which make the grossest sound. Right up there with slime. Just awful. Uh, I wish to... Huh, I landed under the ship. And then we got uh, honey bottles. So I'm going to jump off and glide around to get to the next one. We are now at Falling Blocks, a shop by Renshu. Bulk sand, stacks of sand. I'm going to need to remember this is here because there are many times I need sand. Bulk red sand. Gravel. Oh, because it's falling. All of these are sand. They all fall down. London Bridge. Ashes, ashes. Oh, Ring Around the Rosie is the one I was thinking of there. XP bottles. This is, this is really cool. I like this effect here. Looks like you just splat an XP bottle everywhere. Owner, Diddly Doran. Good job, Diddle. And then you got... I'm guessing this is, yep, here's where you buy. And as you can see, these got the price tag on this little thing, one diamond per 16. Rules do state you have to clearly type out one diamond or diamond blocks. You're not allowed to use D or DB anymore because we had a lot of people, a lot of people getting really confused as to the difference between a diamond and a diamond block. One diamond per stat, gilded carrots, shiny. Yep, no, it still says carrots. And then two, 24 diamonds per bulker. Bulker. Shulker. Is this all carrots? Is this all carrots? Uh, yeah. By RTX Sheep, I think. Yep, they are all carrots. All golden carrots, not even regular carrots. Here we've got Tomb of the Golem. If I had to guess, I would say Iron Shop. By... Data? DeForta? Who knows? And we're going down. And let's see if I am right. Everything is on fire and we got iron! I was correct. It's an iron shop. Okay. And then we go back down. Down, down, down. And over here we got kelp. By Kelp and Obvious. Surprisingly, we sell kelp. Dried kelp block, which is one of the best uh, fuel sources. And then you got dried kelp, which is one of the worst food sources. And then you got regular kelp and shulkers of kelp. Shop owner Tubster. Uh, when I first started, I was going to do a, a shop that had all the fuel sources. I was going to call it Fuel Your Dreams. And I made a kelp farm. And then someone else did kelp. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do something else. I'm, I'm weird about if I know someone else is already doing it. Noble koala. If I know someone else is already doing it, I kind of avoid. Noble's got ink sack. Okay, we need to remember. Because we constantly, constantly, constantly see people going, hey, does anyone have any ink? Oh, what, what did you do, Rocket? Rocket kicked everybody off. 
Uh, not me though, Rocket likes me. Uh, it, I constantly see people looking for ink sacks. Noble's Library. Noble's Library. Here on the corner of Lime. Need to remember that. Uh, not only do they have ink, they have feathers and they have book and quills, which is another thing I see people constantly looking for. And bookshelves. I've seen people asking about that too. Okay, well remember all of that. Remember all of that. Mental note. Uh, Weeping Cherry. Uh, the Weeping Cherry by Gika. All things cherry. Uh, those are privated. Over here we got uh, cherry logs, which are very pink, and cherry boats, which are very pink, and cherry hanging signs, which are very pink. I'm not a fan of pink. But, I mean, I guess they're pretty for people who like them. Pink petals. And I do like that particle effect. I love particle effects. It's very cool. So that's, that's a cool shop right there. Here we have Barney's Barrels and Chests, Barrels, Chests, and Shulkers by Barnex. Back to survival for, oh, oh, oh. Why is the shop getting wiggly? We're going inside the shop. Going inside the shop. Oh, goodness, look. We found all sorts of chests. Well, we've been consumed by the chest monster. Okay, is there nothing actually being sold down here, Barnes? Where am I? I am in the inside of Barney's. Ah, I can't find my way out. Ah, I'm lost. Okay, I'm just going to take the elevator to the top. Okay, this that was the inside of uh, Barney's chest monster shop. Here, I'll fly back down. It's a mustachio! So, you go in, and you get lost, like I just did, because I can't see for poop, so. Alright, and then you take the elevator and you come up to the top, and this is where the actual shop is. You've got uh, colors of shulkers, more colors of shulkers, you can buy chests, barrels, uh, ender chests, uh, shulker shelves, pears, and bulk. And then you got a uh, shulker box natural. Yeah, this is usually where I go when I need it. But I'm currently resisting the urge. I, I, I am resisting the urge. I'm not going to... Oh, you let me out? Thank you. I'm not going to buy anything. Woo! Alright. Uh, we got the Barbershop Armor Trims by Aqua Mazong. This is... I was hunting for this one the other day because I needed a, a netherite armor trim to upgrade a diamond to netherite um, for no reason whatsoever. And let's see if I can... There. Okay. You can buy all the armor trims in here. Buy them all. Do, do, do. Boop. There you go. Everybody's straight. Nice! Grant's an adventure! I like the color. Yep. You can buy all the different trims in here. That one is fun. Um, do not duplicate tr templates before buying. Yeah, no. That's a big no-no. To like go in here and grab one of these, make a duplicate, and put it back. No. No, that's a no-no. That, that's the equivalent of theft. Don't do that. Uh, we got if Oh! Bonaria is going to be moving to Lime Street. Coo, coo, coo. Uh, it, to claim a plot in the shopping district, real easy, real simple. You just look for a sign that says free plot. And provided you don't already have two shops, and if you do have one shop, your one shop is already up and running because you must have your first shop up and running before you can claim a second plot. You just come up and you put your name on the sign. And then within 14 days, you get it filled with your shop and your shop is stocked and you're good to go. 14 days, two weeks. That's plenty of time. So like word of advice, don't claim a plot and then start working on designing your shop because chances are really high you know if you don't get it done within those 14 days your plot is going to be forfeit and someone else is going to uh take it away that's just just the rules uh barney panes glass and bottles 
So you come in here and you can come in and you get tinted glass and colored glass and more glass and glass, 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 uh, multi reservoir, staff only. Nope, I don't go down there. And then you got all the. I was about to say, you're selling dye in here, man. That's not that's not copacetic. You can sell you can sell the glass with the orange with the dye demonstration on top. That's cool. You can do that. Wow. I did not realize that was another shop area. And we got more glass. Did I walk in here when I first showed up? No, I didn't. This is how I came in. Okay. All right. There we go. Ugh, the mustache again. The mustache is everywhere. Here we've got Just Quartz by Serial Killer 51. I recently bought 15 shulkers of quartz from CK. And their actual shop is, I think they're complete, yep, they're completely out. They are completely, completely out, completely unstocked. Uh, need to get on it. You also have 14 days to get your shop stocked. If it sells out, if you don't fill it within the 14 days, your shop is forfeit. Them's the rules. We got the Mossy Log by, was that Keebles? Let me take another peek. Do, 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 by Keebles, yes. The Mossy Log. You've got all sorts of, oh, look. Has this always been here? Huh. I, oh, you know, no. I think I came in here and I did not notice that because I totally did not see. Okay, so you got all sorts of wood, 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 wood. Now, you might see that there are several wood shops in the shopping district and think, oh, I'm not going to make a wood shop. There are plenty. There have enough wood shops. No, there are never enough wood shops. You get someone like me in and you get one of a pretty new shop. Might not, have, it, Yeah, it might not have been in stock. Because I definitely would have bought it if it were. But with wood shops, it's one of those things that everyone needs wood, like constantly. And even people who aren't like me, who, who use like insane amounts of wood, still use a fair bit of wood. And it's really, really easy for, if you're only doing one barrel of wood in your shop, the entire shopping district gets sold out in a day of wood. So provided that you can keep up with the demand, because that's the other key for when you make a shop, make sure you, oh, Queen Key's getting married, nice. Nice, Queenie! Or Key. They go by Key. Queen is a new, new title. You want to call the Queen of England Queenie. Uh, where was I at? Oh yeah, if you're going to make a shop in the shopping district, make sure it's something that you like stocking. Because otherwise, I got ingots owned by KTMT. Because otherwise, you were going to be spending all your time stocking your shop and hating yourself. Oh. Uh, Everything sold out. Lots of shops being sold out. It wasn't me. I haven't been like legit shopping in the shopping district in a while. And then you got GL. GL has some map art. Uh, I make map art check barrels. Apparently some didn't know that. <laughs> Poor GL. The glamorous gallery. GL is the reason why we have a Lime Street. Got lovely, lovely art in here. Is it? It's... It's moved. There used to be, like, art... Oh, no, here we go. Okay, so you've got, like, this is the Minecraft, or Together Craft logo. Oh, I got two keys. Nice. The Together Craft logo. Very lovely. Very lovely. Put that back. And then... Oh, wait. Oh, that, okay, I'm not going to think about that. And then over here we have the... Uh, we want you for the Anti-Panda Army. Mr. Bear Man. It's bear against bear. That has some long history on the server, which I actually wasn't even present for. And then you've got uh, the infinity map of sand, cause so it looks like sand. It's like the same color of sand, which I think you can see. Yep, you can see over here. So you can make infinity rule rooms of any of these colors. Let me remember to... Oh, God. Why did I grab the diamond yeah we're, we're, we're doing a tour of the shopping district right now GL um, but yeah you can do an infinity room with any of these I think I made an infinity room with gray 
just a tiny little room that, you know, was supposed to spook you when you walked into it. I need to get the other two. I need to get blue and red, I think. I need to double check. Uh, and then you got more upstairs. You got the cafe with, oh, look, it's a cute little, little cafe owners. And we got, do we get more? Nope, no more maps. Do, do, do. Got more maps. I'm going to check all these now. Now that I know that there's maps in some of these barrels, I'm going to check them all. And then we got another floor. Yeah. Got another floor. We look for more maps. We're looking for more maps. Hey, fandom. We got a raid going on. Thank you for the raid for whoever's tuning in right now. Yeah, Raider from Fandom, one is the one. Oh, oh, nope. Okay, so there's no f more floors up. We're just doing a tour of the shopping district. While it rains, rains on my parade. I hope you had a good, good stream. I, I hope it was more exciting than my terrible, terrible attempt at uh, doing the event. I warned everyone, I'm not good at this game. I was going to suck at the event. I think I made it four platforms was the furthest I made it before I said, you know what, this is this is not for me. Um, back in the original shopping district, uh, we had a Lime Street, but GL dominated that street. GL took that street and made it his own and we called it GLSM Street. So you can be in the limelight, join GLSM Street and be in the limelight. So we got some history there. He has always, always been like the epitome of Lime Street, which is why he's got lovely green on the glorious gal glamorous gallery. I can't read, sorry about that. Okay, so over here we've got, we got another bookstore. Let me see if I find a sign. Shop to own by Noble. Oh, it's Noble's other store. Shift click to go down. And we got more paper and isn't this this is almost the same stuff Noble's got in the other store. Huh, interesting. Employees only elevator. Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna walk back up the stairs. Oh I'm gonna try not to fall to my death. Try not to get myself killed. Oh, can can you not walk up those stairs? Okay, so I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna do like that. I crouch. Oh, I don't think I'm meant to walk up those stairs. I think that's the problem. Okay. All right. I think I'm supposed to use the elevator. My bad. Sorry about that. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Okay. Next door, we have the Big Red R. This has been in existence for ages. This is like the redstone shop you go to. Between you and me, the owner would kind of like some competition. So if you want to do a redstone shop, and you can keep it fully stocked and maintained, by all means, go for it. No one's feelings will be hurt. It really takes, okay, here's the other thing. If you see that there's a shop in the shopping district, having a second shop is not quote unquote competition. It's relieving some pressure because when you are the only shop of a thing in the shopping district, it's on you to keep that stocked or else there's none of it in the shopping district. So don't ever see that there is a shop in the shopping district and think, oh, well now I can't do that because there's already that shop. Mm -mm. Be, feel free. Provide some competition. Uh, there, there's You can't undercut people, so there's really no, um, no reason to be afraid that you're going to, like, price them out of business. Go for it. Don't ever be afraid to open a shop that you want to do. This, this was the thing. Uh, it still exists, and it's funny. Um, I'm, I'm going to reveal a big, big secret. Way, way back at the beginning of my career, I had a service shop, and my service shop would do all sorts of things. I would build for people, I'd tear things down, I would go shopping for them, I'd keep, you know, store stock, just like all sorts of stuff. Hey, Rocket. Rocket's about to hear something new. 
Um, well, maybe not new. You, Rocket may have known this already. Rocket knows lots of things. You heard secrets. I bet you did. Okay. So when I was doing that, I talked to a few different shop owners and I was like, hey, if I exclusively provide stock for the things that I'm doing from your shop, can I maybe get a little cut? So that's what happened. We had this special thing. I would use these to pay and then he would know how many of things I bought from his shop. He would know what was me. And then uh, he would put them in here at the end and I would pay for them. And we both make money. But we haven't done that in forever because I haven't done that sort of thing in forever. I've not done service shops for any... Oh, that's up to the lounge. We need to go down over here. And this is the uh, the SCP. Hi, Drake. Been waiting for you. Ready? Waiting. Here I go. Gonna slurp. Mm. The beautiful, beautiful sound of hydrogen. But here's an example of how we encourage others. Yeah, it also meant that I didn't need the diamonds before delivering the goods, which was another thing. Like, I felt awkward asking people, hey, could you front me the diamonds because I'm a poor new person. I don't have diamonds to go buy, you know, five diamonds worth of materials from the shops. That always felt weird. So it meant I didn't have the diamonds up front and I could, you know, pay back later. It was, it was, it was a nice setup. It worked out really well. Uh, for all your real needs, check out the Iron Horse on Magenta Street. So this is an example of how we don't mind when other people, quote unquote, step in on our territory. Uh, Garbo used to do rails. Then a rail shop opened, or wanted to open, and Garbo's like, okay, I'll direct everyone to you. I don't need to also sell rails. That saves me having to keep stock of one more thing. I actually did, I rebuilt this, didn't I? This was one of the shops that I got paid to, to take out of the old shopping district and rebuild in the new one. I think. Most of the ones I did that to no longer exist, but I think this is one of the ones that still do. Okay. You did that yourself, huh? Whose shop did I tear down then? Because I remember Redstone being involved. A slightly different design. Did I tear it down? I don't know. Uh, Lime Street Concrete. Uh, Suki has concrete. So if your concrete needs are met over there, trust me, they all make money. I, I think Suki keeps hers pretty pretty well stocked, but yeah. Like, if I needed 20 shulkers of concrete, I would go hit up Lab, and then I'd be out. And then I'd come hit up Suki, and then Suki would be out. And then I'd go hit up whoever else would have concrete in here. And if you don't believe that I do builds that big, I do builds that big. And Suki right next door has Stay Glassy, which is a glass shop. Lovely, lovely glass. Is that Gearbo? I think that's Gearbo. I see. It's a very Gearbo glow. <laughs> Turned off glow. I think that was Gearbo. Okay, right next we have, speaking of Gearbo, the Teary Guest. Gearbo's gas tier farm or shop. I saw nothing. Okay, yeah, no, I never do because I'm blind. Uh, you, you got a ender crystal. You can make ender crystals using gas here, so you can buy ender crystals here. Uh, obviously, I buy them by the stack. You can buy straight up ender tiers. You can buy gas heads. Oh, you're down to one. Hmm. Hmm. No, I got, I got gas heads. I think, did I put my gas sets in here? No, did I put them in here? No, I don't know where, what I did with my gas sets. And uh, gunpowder, because you get gunpowder from gas. Gas are explosive beings. I hate gas. Thank you for ruining my hardcore season. Meh. Okay, so here we go. We got Build by Becca. AKA Milf and Honeys. 
Grand's Diner. Oh, it's Grand's Diner, and the build was done by Becca. And then you've got all these different... Killed so many of them as payback, don't worry. I, I rest assured that you have. You've got my back, ma'am. Grand Special Cookie. What makes these cookies special? What makes those cookies special? I'm worried. Braised mutton, smoked pork chop, broiled steak, roasted chicken. I'm kind of hungry. Bro boiled, boiled rabbit? I don't know about boiling. And then you got slushy machines. Is there anything in this? No, there's no record in that. Okay. So that was Grand's Food Shop. And next door we have Map Art. Lots of people like doing Map Art. Map Art is great. Uh, please read by Marshy. I'm not going to read that. Because I don't plan on actually buying anything. But you've got all the letters of the alphabet. And I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to pull one out just so I can show you. Like, hey, you can put stickers on your shop so that you can have your name on your shop. Like that. Very nice. And then you do all that. And you can come up here and there's an elevator and there's more maps. You got all the numbers. You got symbols. You can do the symbols. And then you got actual stickers. You got the llama. Blue arrows. Blackout, which I think is just a big black map. Uh, you got the PC. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, you got the PC screen and then the keyboard and mouse. And you can buy all those here. PC screen, keyboard. The eagle is the one that's on the front of the shop. Right over there lovely yeah and oh and these are blue arrows the arrows that we saw up there so lovely 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 bubbly jubbly over here we've got what do we got i'm looking for signs oscoops bedrock breaking surplus work in progress bedrock's nightmare bedrock's nightmare Okay, so it's all weakness slash potions. Purchase potions from here. Throw a potion on top of bedrock. Mine cobblestone. It can spread to more than one block. Very, very true. And then, do, 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 we have Rocket's Bookshop. We saw Modern Forge earlier. Now we have the Lime Library by Rocket. This is where I went and got my, um... Got my pants enchanted. The the secret pants that I was working on. Do, 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 do. And these are all, you know, just standard enchantment books. You can get your enchants, and then you can borrow one of the anvils, put your enchants on, and then you skidoodle with your newly gotten gains. Just like that. And there's no. All diamonds are two. All, all books are two diamonds each. And you got GL here. That is GL said. Um, and as you can see, you got a GL Together Craft logo up there. Uh, yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, no secret underground areas. No buybacks in there. Buybacks are all over that way. And next door, speaking of GL, we got the sponge bath by GL. And then you go up, and you can buy sponges. I think, yeah, I bought a lot of sponges in here the other day. There you go. This is this is one of the best places to buy sponges because it's almost always stocked. But uh, try not to buy them all at once, and poor GL has to restock them. <laughs> and then I come down and go out. Ooh, splishy splash. I like that design too. You got like bubbles coming out. Little spoots of water. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice the, the bathtub has feet. Uh, restocking. Restocking can be the biggest bane of people's existences. That's why I say, you know, I constantly say it. Make sure you restock. You have, you, your shop is something that you don't entirely hate restocking because otherwise you'll go out of that business real darn quick. Oh, that is so cool. I like that. Farmer cats. What am I? All of a sudden, I'm walking weird. Farmer cats got a crying chicky. No. Cows, sheep, goats, llamas. 
What? What? I don't... What? I don't understand. Hold on. I guess I'd have to read the book. Payment Barrel. Yep. Okay. Welcome to Farmer Cat's Animal Emporium. Pricing is for two animals delivered to your location via the nether roof. Five diamonds for a cow, a white sheep, a pig, a red mushroom, speedy horses, two diamond blocks for a fox, a white fox. Ooh, I might want a white fox, huh? And a llama. Four diamond blocks for parrots untamed, ocelots and cats prone to escaping, 1.2 oh, special sniffer egg, camel. Ooh, camel. P.S. If you want your animals to have a specific name, please specify. Otherwise, I will name them according to my whims. Please order via Discord, or you can write the order in this book. Order form next page. Okay. We're not going to snoop on other people's orders, but that's really cool. Farmer cats. I I might want to want... I can't talk today. What is up with me? I might want a white fox. Fandom iron. We're in fandom shop. It's an iron shop. Bulk buy for a hundred diamonds. That is a full shulker of diamond blocks. Nice. You can do uh, blocks of iron. And up here you got just a nice little balcony. Oh, that is a nice view. And it's not raining, so you know you don't get any rain. So you got another iron shelf. All your iron needs, because sometimes you need a lot of iron. Or I do. Okay, here's another name that I'm not going to be able to... Raktasapashamnon? Uh, oh, shiny. It's the only shiny shop. It's Piglin Barters. Anything that a piglin will barter is available. Oh, out of Crying Obsidian. Oh, no. That's sad. I like Crying Obsidian. It gives particles. Then you got regular obby and all this other stuff and all this other stuff and all this other stuff. Lots of stuff in this lovely shop, which is actually really cool. I like it. So, if you need Piglin Barter type stuff, go to Ooh Shiny. Next door, we've got It's a Witch Hut. Data's Witch Shop. Come on in. We're gonna come in. We're gonna see what you got in the Witch Shop. I guess we gotta go down. All right. You got this cozy little witch shop. Plenty of redstone, plenty of eyeballs. You got glass bottles. One diamond for two stacks. And then you got a uh, diamond per stack. Glowstone dust. Nice. So, you, yeah, if you need stuff that witches drop, you can get it here. Uh, my nephew TD used to have a witch shop. But he moved, so he is not going to be on the server. We went ahead and tore it down to uh, prevent it having to be torn down by staff when it goes inactive. Because he's definitely going to be long gone for more than 45 days. Uh, seen the TD experiment. Yeah, he's already been all, off for a month, a week, and four days. So, uh, Pumpkin Paradise. We sell all things pumpkin. This is Skitter's favorite shop. It is not done by Skitter. It's done by Tubster. But you got shulkers of pumpkin seeds, pumpkins, carved pumpkins. This is actually, if I needed, like, jack-o'-lanterns and carved pumpkins, I would come here because it is such a pain in the butt to have to carve pumpkins. Do-do-do. So, yeah. This pumpkin shop. Yay! And... Yeah, uh, just this boring little shop. We're not even gonna bother looking in there. At that's this is my shop, the Ebony Bazaar. We've been in here multiple, multiple times. Uh, the Ebony Bazaar with my name on it. It's just a little, little cart. Definitely, definitely no, no secrets. Ignore the sign that says "Wonders Abound" if you know where to look. Definitely don't, definitely don't go looking under the shop for any reason. Nope, no reason. Do 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 do. All right, and we got uh, the Together Tower Superhero Mega Store, owned by Fireball. And in here we have. Um, I'm not sure I recognize that tune, but you can do the Infinity Gauntlet. These are all uh, heads. 
you can do all these different heads. The Infinity Gauntlet and the Hulk. Ooh, people are buying Hulks. Doctor Strange and Angry Hulk. Yeah, that's what's in that shop. Oh, God, it's going again. Quick, move, move before it keeps. All right. The Badlands Mine run by King Jag. You can do dead bushes, terracotta, all the terracottas. Pro tip. If you're here and you're like, oh, I need, oh, and this is all the natural terracottas. Like, this is strictly the natural terracottas that you can mine on. So it, you won't find the weird ones like light blue and light pink or uh, whatever. But if you need, say, a bunch of white terracotta and they're completely out of white terracotta, but they've got any of the other terracottas, just get yourself some white dye, buy some of the other terracottas and re-dye it. It's a one to eight return. One die gives you eight of whatever color, and then you don't have to pull your hair out trying to find white terracotta. Okay, here we got a new shop. Oh, yep, I remember this one. Uh, one shulker. Okay, so here's a slight example of, uh, yeah, that, that's two shops in one plot. Can't do that. That's, that's a no-no. Okay, and then we got the woodpecker, which is a Peskin shop. Peskin took advantage of the fact that, I, I, I say Peskin, it's Julius Fate. Uh, I call them Peskin because pesky bird. No, don't get your die from my shop. That means I have to restock it. Rah! There's two other die shops on, on, the, on the server. I'll show you those two. Um, I call Julius uh, Peskin because pesky bird, their bird. Uh, but they do wood now, in theory. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's wood. Um, they took over my purper shop. And as soon as someone else opened a purper shop, they dropped the purper shop like it was a bag of rocks. And uh, opened a wood shop. Which is fine. We got the color house by Fenris. Speaking of dye shops, Fenris has a dye shop. Full of shiny dye. You can come by from Fenris. There you go. Another example of how just because there's multiple shops doesn't mean that you're not going to get... No one seems to like doing purple, do they? Okay, you've attempted to make a coarse fruit farm. So you understand the pain. It's, it's not an easy thing to farm. It's super tedious and annoying, and it's you can't really automate it. Oh, we got a wool shop. Ooh, it's a new wool shop? Yeah, uh, simply wool by reps. Cool. Yeah, uh, I, I was explaining yesterday when I was talking about... Uh, what the heck was that? Someone trying to trap me? No, uh, shulkers of wool. Okay. I need to let Boinks know that there's another wolf shop so he can take it easy a little bit. Um, yeah, you can only get the fruit or the flowers by manually hitting the blossoms and you have to replant it manually and you gotta wait for it to grow. Oh, this is like a TNT shop. Oh, did someone buy out all the TNT? Good lord. That's almost frightening. What, what's, what was this meant to be? Oh, powder. You got powder. Oh, okay. There's a both powder. Gotcha. And then that's the actual TNT. Nice. That's scary. I'm going to get out of here before I accidentally light something on fire. And then next to the TNT shop. Whose TNT shop was that away? I, I, I know I read it as I went up. Oscoops, the fuse box. Uh, review books. I saw a wiggle. Yep, I see a wiggle. What the heck is going on? Okay, that's so creepy. I did have a semi-automatic prototype. Maybe st yeah, I took a look at it in creative. Didn't get a chance to kind of try my hand at it, but... Uh, welcome to Booger Sugar! Magus Jaru shop. You got sugarcane. 
your store makes me giggle. One free cake per cup store and bulk sugar cane. It's all sugar cane all the time. Ew! I just realized this is like boogies. Ew. Let me out of your booger shop. Ew. Boogies. And next door to that, sugar cane, we have Mighty Pop. Welcome to Mighty Pop. Drop on in. Shop proprietor, Mr. Cruz. Spoosh. What 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 happens to Mighty Pup? Mighty Pup. Do 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 do. Do you need a Mighty Pup by your side? Of course you do. For four diamond blocks, I will deliver a dog to you. However, this is no ordinary dog. A Mighty Pup comes with a custom kennel, a named tag, a colored collar, food, a vaccination cert. This little fluffer is guaranteed to instantly become your best friend. In order to place orders, just message me on Discord. We can then work out the specifics so that you too can have a new best friend. Okay. All right, so it's a dog shop. Hey, fandom. You missed us looking at your shop. Sploosh. Oh, 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 okay. Gotta find my way out. Ah, ah, ah. Tried to trap me. Tried to trap me in the dog. Did you have a good stream? I know you raided me a little bit ago. And here's another Bye die. Um, the iron shop? That one was yours, right? Pretty sure that's the one. When I puree one of these, I can fill a shulker. Yeah, like at one point he did kind of a ah uh, yeah, yeah. Um anyone remember Flipper? I didn't think so. Oh yeah, because, okay, his gimmick is that each one of these implies that he's doing terrible things to get his die. These black and white floofers were so cute. I had to be careful taking the eyes out first. Brown die. It's best you not know where this one comes from. Red die. A bewildering bovine, this one, to be sure. Orange die. These... Giddy taiga dwellers are cunning. Yellow die, skitter's notes. <laughs> okay, this okay, the skitter's notes one is kind of an inside joke. Skitter's notes is something that gets flashed in chat anytime a wandering trader shows up to tell people to check the trader for pufferfish. So this is implying that the yellow die is made from pufferfish. Who snuck in? Fandom, hello. Uh, light green, small enough these hostiles can't hurt you. Uh, slime blocks. Green die, slow and steady re wins the race to the avatar. Turtle. Cyan die, a shiny new variation on an old sea mob. Ole, 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 ole. Everyone went AFK. That's so sus. Blue die, this guy's coat. Nice. Good luck. This guy's coat is the key to a good blue die. Mm -hmm. More like Axonautil, am I right? Ha 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 I needed to smoosh these guys together. I get bacon dropping from this one too. Yeah, so the implication is that everything in here is uh, not ethically sourced. So, but as an example, I think I mentioned it. Let me... Ooh, that's nice. Thanks for your support. An example shulker of all the colors. Green! I want green! Okay. Over here is a plot. Is this... This is a free plot! If you need to open a shop, there is a free plot right here on yellow. Right across from the witch's hut, next to Bye Die. Sometimes it's nice to have a place that it's to die for. But is it a good day to die? Here's another map, and we got ordering instructions, payment pa Oh, is this, is this for villagers? Farmer cats, villager and porium. Pricing is per unemployed villager delivered via nether roof. Plains villager is one diamond. If you want a specific biome, it's another diamond. And if you want it to already be trained with a job, that's another diamond. So like you do a tundra mation, you get three diamond blocks. Uh, if you want your villagers to have a specific name, please specify. Otherwise, I will... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
So uh, that's helpful because villagers can be very much a pain in the butt. My clemency hat. They can be a super pain in the butt. And then over here we have uh, Hideyoshi Nakane, please. Oh, one arm for, yep. Oopsie. It's an ad and we got another free plot. Bonk, 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 bonk. Let me speed up a little bit. I'm trying to burn out my. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. Burn out my. What do you call it? The, um. Saturation. Good lord. How much saturation do I got? I just wanna eat. Let me eat. Spend 30 seconds jumping around like a mad person. And I haven't lost a single bar of saturation. This is crazy. I'm doing this because there's an ad break going on. And I kind of have a message to impart with this next shop. Fandom left the game. Oh no. You can take some fall damage. Yay. And there went the saturation. Yay. Hey, everyone's back. Cool, cool, cool. All right, now I'm going to eat. You guys missed me uh, purposely injuring myself so I could do that. All right, so we have the Iron Horse Rail Shop, Oster, owner Mr. Priz. This was the shop that uh, Gearbo was directing people to when looking for rails. So you can buy all rails here. Like all this stuff, all this stuff, this was stuff that Gearbo used to have to stock. Because it was all redstone related. And he was the only one stocking it. So once, as soon as this shop opened up, he was more than happy to say, hey, you can have that whole market. Go for it. So don't ever feel bad to open a shop. For the, for redstone to power your rails, visit the Big R on Lime Street. Yep. Collaborative shops, very nice. They make the whole world run better and makes everyone happy. Okay, so we got... An elevator. Where's signs? Can they go down? Go up. Okay. Renaming station? What are we doing here? Oh, these are more heads. It's a head shop. Whose head shop? Donations? I'm looking for a sign that says who this shop belongs to. Do 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 Here we go. Elevator, look who can read. Can I go up? Can I go down? Now go down to here. Elevator, please stand near. Can I go down here? I don't think I'm meant to be down here, but I'm going down anyway. So we got that. I am looking for a shop sign. Come on. Where's the owner? Can climb up to here. I'm gonna jump off. I escaped. You could not keep me contained. What the heck was that? Oh, it's it's the amount of head shops we have is awesome, but also a headache. Yeah. If you're ever looking for a specific head, it is definitely a nightmare. Okay, so here's string. To keep regular vines in place. That's fine. Glow berries you can just snip the ends of. Someone make sure Boinks hears that from everybody. Like like here. This one isn't growing and there's no string. Because it got trimmed. Alright. I don't see. I don't see a shop sign. Whose shop does this belong to? Am I just blind? I might be blind. Elevator. Renaming station. Look at all the pandas! That's so cute! Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to make a note of that one for later. Hopping off. Shoom! Splat. Here we got the Japanese stew and soup shop by Spantix. This is delicious. Rocket approves. We got lovely little soups. And you come in and you just buy some uh, totally not suspicious stew. More, more stew. 
This is this is B. Ugh. God, I was trying to get you right. There we go. Pretty sure the same person that owns the bunny shop in front of it. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. That one over there. Yeah. We'll find out when I get to that side of the street. I'm working my way through. So you get soups if you ever need soups. Suspicious stews are fun. And here we've got The Bank by Ella Visor. Available, small, medium, and large. You can get uh, any of these barrels to store some stuff in. But you can also get a post box. So, yeah. You just pay for... Uh, here at the bank, we offer a unique service for players. We have three types of safety deposit box in which you can store your items. So if you're in a hurry and don't want to travel all the way back home or run out of space in your ender chest, you can hop over to your deposit box and pick up or drop off what you need. Descriptions of the types of deposit boxes, prices, and how to claim are on the following pages. Here's the one thing about it. Deposit boxes are a one-off lifetime purchase. However, if you are inactive for over 30 days, your deposit box will be removed and your items will be lost. You may only own one deposit box at a time. Refunds will not be given for your old deposit box if you upgrade to a larger one. Uh, so basically, if you become inactive, they can claim all the items in, your, in the box. So. Uh, small deposit boxes. Mr. Bear, Mr. Bearman has the office up here. Interesting. Only ferns. That one's open. Large deposit boxes. Oh, these these are the large deposit boxes, and these are the small ones. Well, what's a medium one? I'm confused. If you suspect something has been stolen, please contact the mod admin. The bank is not responsible for any thefts. Do not steal from other safety deposits. Thank you. All right. So if, if you're going to be gone more than 30 days, you have a deposit box. Make sure you clear your deposit box before you leave. Uh, Lurking Gherkin, a sea pickle shop. One annoyance for the PO box is that people just... Okay, here's the thing. If... If you don't want ads, you can put no ads on your sign. If people are dumping ads in your box in a way that you don't want, let a mod know. We will talk to somebody. We will talk to whoever's doing it. Because ads are a privilege, not a right. They don't... Oh, they... you were right, Gerbo. They're in the basement. We got Ruby's Locker, Skitter, Frog, Red Byron. Woohoo! Gearbo's right. Gearbo's always right. But yeah, if you're having a problem with ads in your post box, let us know. We'll take a look at it. Because it might get to the point where uh, people are, you know, no longer allowed to put ads in there. Uh, sea pickles. One diamond. Uh, uh. I don't need to buy sea pickles. I have a farm at my disposal, but I want to. I want to. They're pickles. I want. I want the pickles. Always right, except when you're not. Stork at your own risk. Maybe set spawn above. Please do not harvest from tank so that others may enjoy. This is actually really nice in here. It's cute. They're pickles. Me and my pickles. I'm hiding. Keep on moving them down and take screenshots of the next ones. Yeah. Yeah, because it does get annoying when you ask someone to go put something in your box and your box is full of ads. And they're like, oh, I can't put anything in your box because it's full of ads. Maybe if you can fit it on your sign, uh, put ads in a signed section on your post box that might help keep people from putting them in the wrong places uh nether block hush i don't put stuff in my box that's totally not me all right so you can buy nether wart red nether bricks regular bricks 
Nether bricks. I love bricks. Yeah. Oh, red nether bricks. Okay, yeah. Nether bricks. I was my brain was thinking these when I was reading about these. This is actually a very pretty brick. I don't use that one that often though. I use this one all the time. And I rarely use this one. I don't know. That one just looks weird to me. It looks kind of fleshy. Alright, so next to the checkerboard, we've got Overlord MC to make a plot. Cool. Wonder what'll be there. Put ads below heads. That would help. Fleshy bricks. At least they don't make the weird... Like, if you were able to combine a sound with the brick and make it sound like slime blocks, yeah, it'd be really bad. Ah, uh, bones! Bones! Glorious bones! All the bones you could ever need! Bones! Bones! Bone meal! Bone blocks! Bones! 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 So many bones! Bones! Bones. If I say that word one more time. Uh, no Place Like Bone by Johan Starr. And then we got Torches R Us! Welcome to Magenta Barrel Giveaway. This one is interesting because you got, uh... Uh, free gift, one per customer. Oh, it's a di it's an emerald. Okay, you got torches and uh, torches and here's here's the interesting thing with the shop. You put your name, you buy from the shop first. You put your name in the barrel using a piece of paper, and then there's a chance that you can win the profits from the week. Which I think is fascinating. I also wonder how many profits you actually make selling torches. I mean, I go through torches like a crazy person. Alright, can that music stop now? I'm, I'm done with music. <laughs> I might have to go turn off, uh, what is that? Note blocks? Dear Lord, where's the range on that? Ah, I fell in some of these. Come on. Come on, stop. Good lord. There we go. Finally! That was so loud. Maybe no music disc in SD. It'd be nice if there was a timer. Or at least no automatic. Uh, shoot, oh, there we go. I already had that set to like 20% and my volume in general is at 8%. Good lord. Okay. Well, well remind me to turn that back on. Uh, revive by Levy. Look, it's a me. It's not actually me. It's a totem of undying. But it's a me. You too could have a me in your pocket. Wouldn't you not be lucky? And then I come in... And you can bulk purchase potions of healing and bottles of enchanting, night vision potions. I don't need night vision potions because I got the night vision goggles. And uh, bulk purchase your totems of undying. Uh, a few months ago, I bought out every single box of totem of undying. So I have tons of totems. Uh, staff only can't go up there. But yeah, if you're looking for totems or uh, enchant uh, little experience bumps, definitely hit up Revive. And now, the other side of Magenta. Here we have November Buyback is here. Monthly item buyback inside. This is Blitz Crate. This is one of the several crate shops in the shopping district. Uh, this one is one of three that I know of off the top of my head that have buybacks. Rocket and Rosie both have buybacks in their shops, but they're for flat rates. Uh, buyback at Blitz Crate have a variety. We do a dragon fight with newcomers. That that would be fun. We should uh, arrange just a general uh, no armor pumpkin heads fight it with sticks type deal. Just something to make it exciting. Uh, B wings. So, like, if you sold a Helmet of Haste directly to this buyback shop, you would get, what is that, 12 stacks of diamonds? Uh, B-Wings, you could get 64 diamond blocks 
Like, you, you get all of these diamonds, I think, is what... Let me, real quick... Come on, calculator. Uh, 12 times 64... Yep, yep, okay. So you get all 12 stacks of these if you sell the Helmet of Haste. With B-Wings, you get one of these stacks. Singer, you get one. Uh, Beekeeper's Axe, you get 24. Beekeeper's Hat, you get 20. Yada, yada, so on and so forth. And you got more over here. And you see people are doing sellbacks here, too. So you can get stuff, and then you can buy them here, which is not something you can do at a rocket shop. Rockets, uh, things that he, I really should do a buyback because I, I pay more, and I don't think people know that I pay more for tokens. I, I buy uh, haste tokens for 24. Um... But yeah, you can buy all these monthly items, different monthly items, meet create items, monthly shears. The wings are not named, so you can't... Gargoyle wings from last month. And then you get the monthly shields. Ooh, does he have... Nah, he doesn't have one of the fancy shields. And... Oh yeah, armor was over there. Shop owner's crest. There. That, that's, that's that shop. If you need to sell some of your monthly items, this is one of the places you could do it. Over here, we've got J. Wu's Terracotta Castle. It's designed by Vision Surfaces. Services. Sur Glazed Terracotta and Pots coming soon. And then just standard Terracotta. I came and bought some Terracotta here the other day because I needed some. Yep, there's a terracotta shop. It's a good, it's good to know where the shops are, but you do have to be prepared for you go to, to a shop that you knew was there and it's no longer there. And that could either be because the player went inactive or the player decided they didn't want to sell that stuff anymore or the player moved their shop entirely. So the shopping district is constantly changing, constantly changing. And that's why anytime people's like recommended, hey, why don't we do a directory? Why don't we keep a list? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? It's so hard to keep up with all the changes. And it changes on like a daily basis. Like you would really need, love the color signs with the item frames. Let me go back in there. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a really cool effect. That is, that is really nice. And it's helpful for those who, uh, their eyesight isn't so great. Like, uh, definitely not wanting for GLS and spot to be free. Well, there's, there's someone, uh, with a, parked in a spot that they haven't built yet. So keep, keep an eye on that one. Maybe they'll not make the 14 day deadline. Uh, Mr. Potatoes, Mr. Pongles Potato Shop. <laughs> Poor chap. Uh, you can do potatoes. Standard potatoes. You can do more potatoes. These potatoes were harvested in the Pongle factory farm in Tomato, tomato Hopolis. Mr. Pongle himself has overseen all operations at the farm for over a week, getting ready for all customers. That the Pongle company will please for many years the first potato. Free Pongle shirt with all. Oh, that's cute. I almost want to buy. Barbecue Pongle chips. Oh, they've been baked. Uh, do I want to? One diamond per stack. I kind of, because I, I want a shirt. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Here we go. I'm going to buy some potatoes. I'm going to buy some baked potatoes. And give me a free Pongo shirt. There we go. I got a Pongo fan shirt. Woohoo! I, I, I would put it on, but now I don't have... Actually, I'll, I'll wear it as we walk through the shopping district. Okay, now we got Death Goes the Blackstone Market. Now open. For those who didn't, like, register, the Ebony Bazaar is, like, another way of saying the black market. And that's why I've got, ooh, 228 diamonds, 32 diamond blocks. Oh, and it's empty. I saw, I'm presuming that's for a shulker of uh gilded blackstone yeah yeah because uh you get one diamond for eight gilded blocks so you can make gilded blackstone 
Uh, the recipe is kind of expensive, gilded blackstone. Um, yeah, a full diamond block to make eight, and that's why it's so expensive to buy it. But that's also easier than trying to farm it, because to farm it you have to walk into. Uh, if anyone have a sec to check the map and help me out, could I set up a base where I am on the map? I'm gonna peek over that real quick, just to, um, Zulur. Where are you, Zulur? Zulur. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, okay, chap's gonna help. Cool, cool, cool. That saves me having to worry about that. Alright. Because it was kind of hard to tell by looking at the map. I mean, looking at the map looked fine, but that doesn't mean there's not a build there. You really need a mod or admin or someone to come there. That's like the third... What are these people with all these record players? Good lord. There we go. Ah, uh, haha. I don't think I'm meant to be up here. But I am. Oh, I can't... I can't do the glide jump because I don't have my elytra on. Silly me. Going out. Always make sure you close the door behind you. Don't be rude. Don't leave the door open. All the animals are going to get in or out. Okay, so you got a free plot here on magenta. Do, 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 do. And another free plot. Do, 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 do. Or not so deep, dark, or depot. Ooh, shiny. Cool. Ooh. Oh, they're out. Get the other emerald door? Do you get this emerald? The open door let me know that someone had been in my previous shop. I always close the door behind me. Except on my cart. Like, I always leave the door open on my cart. And when I see the door closed, I know someone's been in there. So there's no emerald door. That's stinky. They're in. Aaron, I need emerald ore. Aaron, emerald green. Glorious geode. Uh, the current place where I am uh, digging, I've gone through like three geodes. Just doing my outline. I'm going to have a lot of amethyst pretty soon. Welcome to the glorious geode. You can get, uh... oh, because you can make these out of the uh, shards that you get. And you got bulk shards upstairs. So you got uh, basalt, and you got calcite, and you got uh, tiny buds and medium buds, and slightly more medium buds and full sized buds, and then actual budding, because you can silk touch budding amethyst here. So you can grow your own. And an amethyst block, and am I allowed to eat that cake? I kind of want to eat that cake. Well, we'll get a, co we'll get a cookie at, at Red's. All right, so elevator, storage, private, elevator, down. There we go. All right. Uh, eight, 80 diamonds of shulker of amethyst blocks, payment blocks, 24 diamonds of shulker of calcite. Oh, like that. Okay, here's, here's the part that always confuses me. When they have it set up like this, am I supposed to empty the shulker and, well, I can't even open that one. Am I supposed to empty the shulker into my own shulker, or am I supposed to actually put a hole in their display here and, and take a shulker calcite? I don't understand. I don't understand. Because, yeah, 20, 24 diamonds for a shulker calcite is actually a pretty good deal. Up, oh, going up. Whee! Alright, now we're out of the geode. There's a guy up here that's claimed like 500 blocks. Yeah, no, 500 blocks is not much. Payment is separate, so I assume you can take the choker. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, happy bunny, carrot supply, rope. But I'm I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna like screw up somebody's shop by accident. Like even even as staff, I'm still. See what I said about how regular carrots look like pickles? I hate that the name tag isn't working. I need to see if I can find an updated version of that particular resource pack. Because it used to also say pickles. Like it said pickles there and it would say golden pickles here. 
and my little hunger bars used to be hang valid point if you have a very efficient pick oh yeah or if you forget you're wearing your helmet of haste carrot barrel oh that's so cute and carrot cake oh I love the sound of walking out of this yeah so pretty okay here we have Silk's Clothing Shop owner Ruby Suris. Ruby, new range now in seasonal items on ground floor. Okay, so we got seasonal clothing. Nothing. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you got the Wazowski mask, clown shoes, Nemo scales, Carol's adventure pants. Huh. And then we've got Belle's dress, Mean Girls tea on Wednesdays. We wear pink. That was so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. So you've actually never been to a real school before? Shut up, shut up. I didn't say anything. And then sale items. Prices is labeled. You got the Love Hood, Superman suit, Bugs Bunny. Oh, I think I forgot to... Yeah, I don't get... Mr. Ghostface hat. No, don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. <laughs> Let me do the rest of the quotes. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Do you like scary movies? I'm feeling a little woozy here. Okay. I've seen that movie way too many times. <clears throat> oh, anyone want to hydrate me? Mm. I am feeling a little woozy here. Do, do, do. Uh, trendy clothing. Lucifer's pants, Navi skin, crunch them hall blazer. There we go. I knew you took it. <laughs> Excuse me as I just finish off this can. Dear Lord, everyone hooked me up. <laughs> oh, and I, I got a little less than an hour to go too. Crunch them all, Blazer. Stranger jeans. You want to be normal? I'm not going to hurt him. I'm just giving him the opportunity. Okay. Yep, everyone hooked up with the uh, hydrate. And then we got Muddy Prince. Oh. And now we got the... Is this the last? Yep. No, because we still got one more on that side. We got Brown Street. Everyone on Brown Street. Uh, welcome to Holy Cow. Also by Rubisaurus. Get your fresh milk. Oh. <laughs> you can get the baby cow. And you can do a whole shulker full of milk. Do do do. Leather and steak. Get your leather. Shulkers and stacks. Get your steak. Some people prefer steak. Because they have an infinite supply. So they just eat it all the time. Shop by Sorella is on the rock snow and ice. You got snow. Powdered snow. Blue ice currently sold. I I take no responsibility for that. I'm leaving. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Totally not my fault. Not my fault in the least. Okay, we got a free plot over here on brown. We got another free plot on brown. Who is sitting up on top of that? It's a fandom. All right, uh, geezer's tool and armor shop. Okay, this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna complain for a moment. You come up to this shop. You look at this shop. What do you think it's going to be selling? Like, what would be your presumption be? Your presumption would be end items. Maybe purper, maybe the end stone, maybe shulkers, you don't know. End stuff, yes. You're not thinking it's going to be tool and armor. And it's tools and armor. And that yeah, just made me so sad the other day because I was looking for end stone. And I saw this shop, I was like, oh, it's an end stone shop. And I walked in and it's tools and armor. Which isn't bad. We need tools and armor. Oh, uh, specialty gear, netherite, event, elytra trimmed in event. Ooh. Ooh, event gear? This is floor two, floor three, 
floor four specialty gear. Where's the event stuff? Okay, that's privated. That's empty. That's empty. Fully enchanted trim full suits of armor. Oh, oh, that's that's cool. They're already trimmed, so you don't have to worry about finding trim for it. Alright, fully enchanted. Mildly enchanted. Not fully, just slightly. Full, fully enchanted. Here's some fully enchanted pointy stick. Yep. Uh, fully enchanted elytra. Unenchanted elytra. Fully enchanted netherite pickaxe. Yeah, netherite. You got s silky picky. Okay. No event stuff though. I was, I was, I was hoping for the event stuff. <laughs> Wool. I, I mean. If it were a wool shop, I would at least actually shop here. Like, I don't need tools and stuff. Like, all of my tools and stuff are unbreaking. That's unbreakable. Yeah, I know, I got excited. No, there's no there's no actual event stuff. Event stuff is mentioned here. Specialty gear. Netherite, elytra, trimmed, and event. I didn't see any event stuff up there. And I was kind of curious as to what event stuff they would have. Especially since event stuff is harder to get now that we do all, a lot of our events on the event server. And we don't get to keep the stuff then. Oh, free plot. Two free plots. Copper hopper. The copper hopper by Machinery. Hi, fandom. Hello. 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 Okay. How do we get to where we can buy... Here's the elevator sign. No, that's... Uh, I forgot that you can edit from the back. Okay, so you got copper. You got lots of copper. That was loud. You crunch loud. Why you crunch so loud? Due to the PTIA to make these, supply may be limited. And there goes yet another musical disc. What is with all the musical discs? I don't... Okay, I was about to say, I don't normally notice this many musical discs, but I also don't normally play with music on. Or with noise on. I usually only play with sound on when I'm streaming, and I don't normally go through the entire shop disc when I'm doing a stream. Shop Design by MP Blitz Light by Cress. And this is a frog light shop with all of these frog lights. Love the new shop. So anytime I need like a bucket ton of frog lights, that's where I'm going to hit them. And then over here we got, welcome to fishy business run by Milo. All of our fish is fresh. Mm, wow, they do have quite a lot. And there's also ink, in, well, there's meant to be ink in here, but it's currently out of stock. Gotta remember there's ink here. Experience, is someone fishing okay you got puffer fish and th this is not a fresh fish this is a dead fish these are all dead fishes if they're in a bucket then they're fresh but otherwise they're dead what's up here going up tridents we got a recipe for tridents now you can make your own tridents that is really cool hello Fandom's got the rainbow shield. Rocking the rainbow shield. Do to do. Alright, here we've got Fandom's armor diorama. Why did I fall on there? Seriously. That looks like it hurts. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about that, fan. Um, I guess I'm not meant to go in the doors. Price starts at when each multiple of eight, the price increases by one diamond block. This, however, doesn't include armor, which will vary in price. Armor prices on the Discord post shopping to order just DM fandom on Discord and will Discord and will once the diorama is complete and just make the payment. Cool, 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 cool. So you can get an armor stand diorama. I actually might make use of that. I might need some help uh, putting stuff up in the den. All sign types in stock now open. Come on in. We got 
Science of the Times by Hanging Signs Are So Cool. Shop owner, there we go. It's all good. Welcome to the server. If I happen to notice things happen in chat, I pause. The okay, it's really cool. These signs, well actually probably all of them, but I like these ones because of the coloration. They make um <clears throat> a great railing, like along a stair or balcony they make really great railing they, they just look fantastic because it looks like you know like it's got the block and and actually I use it in my office so I'll, I'll go there later I've got so many plots open down this way boo -doo, boop boop boo -doo, boo boop boop so many free plots free plots we're heading to another shop I bought out recently. Da, 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 da. The Gilded Goose. Uncle Burns G Goose founded on 72123. That's so yellow. Dude, that hair. I swear. This is your shop! Yeah. Do you think we will have a street for each color one day? Absolutely. 100 percent I do think we will have a street for each color. Uh although. It might be a little ways off because we do have quite a bit of uh, room still. The last time we expanded, it was because we were constantly, as staff, I don't know, we'll, we'll take a look when I uh, get done here. Um, we were constantly, as staff, having to, almost on a daily basis, go through looking for shops that were past their expiration date to clear them out to make room for new shops to be built. So that was why we expanded the last time. Light blue and light gray. Yeah. But yeah, that was why we expanded the last time. So it, it'll, it might be a little while because, like I said, we still got plenty of space and we're not having to do that constant shuffle. But I'm sure, like, the way the server's been growing since, you know, we got so much gold, very cool. Ooh. Hmm, four diamonds for one. So four rows. This is four rows. Four diamonds for one. Let me see if I get my math right. Four rows is 36 times four is nine. Sixteen diamond blocks. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Here I need my ender chest. Need to do this. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Nothing happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Do 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 totally don't need those for anything in particular. Uh tree parts, log strip Oh, this is uh Sarcasm Trees Custom Tree Shop, Tree Noises. And you've got tree noises and parts. So you can get a custom tree built, or you can get the stuff to make it yourself. Do, do, do. <laughs> well, I forgot you had Enchanted Apples there, and I bought out uh, the other place that I've seen Enchanted Apples yesterday. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you need a custom tree built, you get tree noises by Sarcasm Tree. And then if you need wood, just wood? Oh, and leaves. Oh, there's leaves in the tree. I need to finish setting those up because I had, uh, I, I have some plans for those particular alerts. Wow! Uh, free plot. Free plot. Who do we got here? I don't, I also don't get out to the backside that often. Uh, heads. It's another head shop. Who else sells enchanted apples? Envy has enchanted apples in her ancient city shop because uh, those spawn in ancient city, 
ancient city chess. Man, that was almost a bad word. Where's where's the heads? Where am I? Where? Mm, please read before shopping. Where? Where? Oh, is this it here? Okay, that's where it is. I just can't read. Or I'm very, very, uh, very out of touch. So, yep, it's a head shop. Got more heads. Come here to get your heads. Forgotten scuba mask. Ooh, oh, because it's all scrudgy. Copper lantern. Basketball spruce log. That one's hard to read. Uh, overgrown pumpkin. Um... Yeah, I think that one broke a little bit. I think that one has broken just a tiny bit. And a gnome. Maybe it's just me. Bush and flowers. I'm going to... Yeah. I'll come back later when I've got different... Maybe not my texture packs and uploaded. Okay, we got... Oh, this is... Nether. Alright, alright guys. Here's another one of those situations. You come up on this shop. What are you going to... Here, let me block the, the lettering. What are you going to presume this sells? Mushrooms, maybe. Maybe end stuff. Maybe purple stuff. Nether. A trip to Netherland. Okay, this, this is another shop. But if, from the outside... From the outside, that was not another shop. I am sorry. Bone blocks. Okay, cool. And then we got these. And then we got, ooh. Ooh, soul soil and whatnot. Basalts. Polished basalts. Blackstone. Magma blocks. All I'm saying is that when you... When you go to design your shop, maybe keep in mind what you're going to be selling. Because, like, if I were looking for nether stuff, and I were flying around trying to do it quickly, I might not catch that this says nether down the side. I might just see the purple and the end plants there and think, oh, that's got to be, like, some sort of end shop and not actually look into it. Flora from all dimensions. Nice. Whose shop is this? Oh. Nope. What the heck? Oh, someone's about to get themselves, uh... Wow, okay. That was a little inappropriate. I'm not in mod mode right now, or else I would have definitely, uh... Let's see, elevator down. I mean, they're, they're, it's not incorrect, but there are better ways to have phrased that statement. Right? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're not incorrect in that we will answer the question if you, you know, get overlooked and you ask it once or twice, but... I didn't get the fruit tree spling reward. You have to right click it. Well, I don't know. Okay, all right. Oh. Oh, okay. So if you have any core stuff, cool, 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 cool. All right, we're going up. Nope. Up. Oh, where's my? There's my elevator. Going out. So that's pretty cool. That's a cool shop. For all your random flower needs. And then here we've got... Do, 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 the floral jardinier. For all your plotting needs. Potting needs. I, I can read. No, I can't. I never learned how to read. Uh, Sapphire Horizon. Elevator. Ooh. Potted plants. Oh, those are so cute. I love, I love how they get to minis. Okay, you can do flower pot. Ooh, big pot. I can you put plants into big pots? That would be cool. 
If they would turn into like tall palm trees, grabbing dinner, so will be on sound only. Okay. I'll be sure to not narrate anything I am doing at all. Uh, stem options. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, because you, you put the that thing there and then you put a thing on top. Yeah. Yeah, very clear. And then you've got just uh, t torch flower, mushrooms, more mushrooms, and wiggles, some more wiggles. I... Another nice thing about looking at people's shops is you see design things that you make. You can put stuff in the big pots! It doesn't quite turn out the way I was expecting, but you can put it in there. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, okay. Nice. That makes me happy. All right, so we have finished looking at that entire side of the shopping district. And it's only taken most of the stream. So we got 30 minutes left. Let's go looking at, uh, let's see how many more shops we can get done. The Coral Reef by Itrit. Go in. Elevator down. Okay, we are no longer, uh, needs water with a slab or trapdoor below them. Basically what that means is that it needs a waterlogged slab or trapdoor. If you want to place living coral fans right on top or any sort of living coral right on top because otherwise it will die coral blocks need water on any side to live oh hello oh there's a oh, okay cool there's a conduit sweet so i don't actually have to worry about drowning cool <coughs> and then you've got um, all your coral needs. There's coral shop. Nice. Yay. Coral, coral, coral. And if you need dead coral, we'll just put it on the ground and let it do its thing. And it will die instantaneously. Well, maybe not instantaneously. It takes a hot second. But. The Spicy Moss Chess by Spicy Blackie. You can do flowering azalea. You can do moss. I bought out the moss the other day. You can do a shulker moss. Yeah, that was me. The, the, all these shulkers of moss being bought out. That was... Oh, there's four more. They put more in. Okay. Uh, moss carpet. Just for the sake of offering all moss blocks, seriously, don't buy it. Crafting it yourself is cheaper. Mass respect for that. Because, honestly, you know, they could have not said anything and sold moss carpet and made the money. Hey, Georgie. Okay, we got in here. Closed for restock. Oh, well, okay, I'm not going to go in because it's closed. But Cam, Cam's Chris House of Horrors. You can find all sorts of heads of the creepy nature. I'm going to kind of see if we can take a peek. Yeah, the, the sort of heads you were able to see were like like that one. That That was a nice shop for that sort of thing. And then we got over here, we got the Brick Baker. It's a brick shop. Get all your bricks. Brick, brick, bricks. Brick, 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 bricks. Okay. And that's by Hey, It's Lily. And then we got more empty plots, empty plots, empty plots. And then we got the li Live Bee. Live Bee. Restock coming soon. Live bees, two diamond blocks per hive, includes three bees. I'm guessing that there's none left, and that's why it says restock coming soon. That's actually kind of cool concept, because bees can be annoying to find. If you don't know how to um, spawn them. Basically, if you grow birch trees... Eventually one will spawn with a bee on it, provided that there's flowers around your trees. Real Knights Wear Chainmail. Owner, Mr. Priz. This is nice. You got, uh, chainmail helmets and pants and shirts and socks and everything. So if you need chainmail, usually for armor stands. People like chainmail and armor stands. It looks neat. 
and then you bounce this way. Boy, there it see this is why I don't think it'll be anytime soon. Maybe after the newest batch of newcomers hits the shopping district and it gets full up. Bonnie banners. All your different banner needs. Oh that's a unicorn, that's pretty. These are all pretty banners. Banners to do letters. And then just standard banners. Blank banners. Boop, 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 boop. Lovely banners. Yeah, they're very nice banners. Uh, by Lavender Green. Blank paper, suggestion box. They're very unique, too. Like, these aren't common banner designs that you see. Alright, okay. Sandstorm. For all your sand and sandstone needs, Lonnie 3. I am glad that I have seen this because someone was asking the other day about sandstone and nobody knew if anyone sold it. And I don't think this is a new shop. So there is sandstone. I'm trying to do sandstorm by the, the, the sports song. Oh, here's that sniffer. It's a giant sniffer archaeology the suspicious block by Hoy. elevator up and then you go in here and you can buy all the pots and all the plants and a sniffer egg oh a sniffer head oh oh that's a player head that's not like an actual sniffer head from a dead sniffer you get torch flowers those are pretty Oh, and you get, oh, I kind of, I haven't made a brush yet. I haven't done any of the new stuff. Blitz shops. This is an emerald shop. I got pillager heads too. It's like a raid shop. Pillager and vindicator. Emeralds. So many emeralds. I bought bulk emeralds in here the other day because I needed to have uh, a bunch of emeralds ready for... Uh, currency tokens for the den. Because, uh, yeah. You will be able to get currency tokens that you can then turn around and put into uh, The End is Near by Nyx Phoenix. Uh, you can put into, like, gambling machines for the casino portion of the den. Alright, yeah. See, this was all the end type stuff. Uh... This is my only, only thing. Um, there's an odd number of shelves in here. So when you buy, you don't have, like, you're missing one shell to be able to make uh, enough shulker boxes. So it's kind of weird. And then you come down. That was more fruits and, and stuff. Yeah. What you see is what you get. You get a little Enderman not doing a little shulker. That's so cute. Okay. Uh, we got Angler's Advantage. Hell Onions Fishing Poles. Fishing Rod. For four, for one diamond. You got a almost broken fishing rod. Max Enchants for 15 diamonds. Nice. Angler's Advantage. Single Enchant Rods for one diamond. And you can fish. Alliance Fishing Poles Hole, where you can sit here and fish if you're bored and you got nothing better to do in the shopping district. Okay, okay. So we got more. Sometimes I wish items had more uses, like scoots and shulker shells. Well, scoots are a little difficult to get. And, well, shulker shells... <laughs> Shulkers are the best thing on the face of the earth. Some of the things that I wish had more uses were like mangrove roots and mostly because I wish that we could turn them into brown dye uh, tough is getting more uses so tough was one of those that I wish had uses um, from sir loins to your face sir loins owned by fishbeck oh in the drawer that was rude you can buy meat shulkers and meat and meat and more meat to my face. To my face! 
Say that to my face. I don't know. I think if, if shulker shells had more uses, then they'd be even harder to keep in stock. Scoot you get from growing a turtle, which is hard to do on this server. Okay, well, I've completely forgot to check out the signs on the outside so we know what we're walking into. The Apothecary by Prospero. It's a potion shop! Yay! Need renewable shells. You mean scoots or shulker shells? Because the shulkers already, um, they regen pretty quick and we get like two shells per shulker you kill. It just, people don't like going to the end to, to farm them. It's why they keep selling out. Uh, splash healing, splash healing. Bye! So you got a potion shop. You got another potion shop. It's the, it's the scoots that I would not mind having a, a easier way to get them. Like crafting them or something. The Petal, flower shop owned by MG Alley. You can get all these flowers. Look at all these pretty flowers. This is a nice way to display them too. Ooh. Does it hurt if it's in a pot? It does not hurt if it's in a pot. Hmm, interesting. Because I noticed it wasn't giving off its wiggles. And then this one, you, you put these, you can only hang them upside down. Um, and then they give off the do 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 the, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Flotsam, the, oh, the word I'm looking for. It'll come to me at some point. Particles, the particle effect. There we go. Okay. The leaf. The leaf plant shop owned by MG Alley. It's where you get all the other plants and roots and stuff. That's a, that's a good shop. That's a nice shop. And then here we've got a uh, dripstone, the Dripodocus, a fishback shop. Oh, because it's it's a dinosaur. Look at that! Look at look at that eyeball looking at you. Look at that eyeball. You can get all your dripstone needs. Just look for the dino. And then we bounce down, and we're going to go to here. Uh, Nature's Roots by Destiny Love. Logs and leaves and leaves and logs. Overworld up. Oh, what is... Where are these? That's like the creepiest thing. Okay, so you got logs. You got more logs. Where's my leaves? Huh. And then you go down, down, nether. Shroom lights, stem logs, they're out. And roots, and warped wart blocks. Warped warp blocks, say that five times fast. Yeah, no, that's 62, dude. Alright, so here we got frogs, 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 owned by frog. And you go in here, and this is one of my favorite shops because it's just so cute. You can do oh, four times blocks per map. And there's no maps, so I guess that's been sold out. Uh, Le Frog. I think this was the map that was over there, and it's sold out. Uh, three diamonds for one tadpole, and that's sold out. And then you have frog lights. So many frog lights. So many frog lights. So many frog lights. Who did all the pinks? gross. Frog lights, tadpoles, and then you elevate her up. Yay. All right, and then we got to the end of that side, and now we can go down this side. Here we've got Blitz Armory by Vulcan, which is another armor shop. I think this is just standard armory. Just standard armor and stuff. That's a crossbow. 
I know it looks like a pistol. How come this one still says pistol on it, but my other... Oh, because the other one's been updated. That's fine. I forgot. Okay, my resource packs, options, resource packs. Uh, no, no, it's made for an older version of Minecraft also. So I don't know why it's not working right. And this one is made for an older version. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. All right, so we got Banners. Babs is the Bad Butt Banner Shop by Dr. School. And you come in and it's got so many banners. You want more cool designs on banners? Look at this banner shop. Look at all these cool designs. Now, this is one of those shops that I, I mentioned earlier that I had torn down or rebuilt a bunch of shops from the old shopping district to the new shopping district. And this was one of the ones, not this particular shop, not this specific shop, but Dr. Skull's banner shop. I tore down from the old one and I put back up in the new one. So this is really cool because like these banners look like pillars. That looks like a pillar. That is really cool. I like that. And then you got all these banners in here that are just, you get one that looks like a mirror and a little ghost and skeletons and uh, just all sorts of really cool banners. I wonder if I could get him to do that one in green. That's a cat, right? Or is that a dragon? No, it's a cat. Okay, so we got a lot more empty plots. And here we have a redstone shop. Random redstone stuff shop by Leafstar 360s. Uh, calibrated skulk sensors, droppers, redstone comparators, redstone torch. Redstone repeater, pistons, trappers, note blocks, and observers. No actual redstone. So you could still get away with making a redstone shop if you were interested in making a redstone shop. Not that that would have. Oh, uh, Leaf Stars Redstone and Porbian service shop. Okay, so here's a service shop. We haven't seen a lot of these. We did see the one that way that was the tree. We saw the one that was the um, armor stands. There haven't been a lot of service shops. Service shops can get swamped with jobs real quick if they're not careful. Uh, Prime Slime. This is Chapton's. Whose head is that? That's somebody's head. Owned and operated by the Chapton. You can get slime heads. I got so many slime heads. There, there's a bunch of slime chunks in the bottom of a shulker or cobweb. This, this was for Halloween. We did that especially for Halloween so that people doing Halloween builds would be prepared. Um, but, what was I? I was in the middle saying, oh yeah, at the bottom of the um, sci-fi base, there's a bunch of slime chunks and I'm constantly having to fight slime. So I've got tons of slime heads. And slime. Even though I still buy slime because sometimes I need more than... The ton that I have is not the same as the ton that I need. And sticky pistons. And leads, because you can make leads with the slime block. Wait, what's what was this note? Uh, elevator or oh, oh, staff only. Okay. And now we are entering Cyan Street. And here we got Turtle Sanctuary. Turtle Hummets. That's a nice helmet. Turtle shell. And a uh, seagrass. Oh, okay. I, get, I see. Seagrass. And then over here you got turtle eggs. Uh, one diamond for four eggs. Cool, 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 cool. Eggs are easy to get. The turtles that come out of them, not so much. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so this shop... I see no sign, so it's going to be a surprise. Skin and Bones, Leather Bones and Bone Blocks by Miskatonic Rich. Nice. And, uh, and a cake. You know what, I'm, I'm saving my appetite for, no, you know what, I'll, I will eat a piece of cake. I say cake, it looks like cheese. It's a cheesecake. 
Uh, Weather Skeleton Skull, set of three for six diamonds. Not bad. And then Bones of Diamond, Bone Block. Yep, so all your bone needs. Lots of bone shops, and I'm sure they all make some money. Let's see, here we got Pardon Our Slow Restock, on Owners of Vault Hunting, my Miska. Mountains from Moan Hills, Terraforming Supplies. <laughs> the most expensive box of dirt ever. Uh, for those not aware, at one point we did a surprise auction. I think it was what it was called or something. You would bid on boxes and you had no idea what was in them. And Miska basically bid that much on every auction. And this one is just a shulker of dirt. So and they paid almost 4000 diamonds for a shulker of dirt. Alright, we got bulk boxes of stuff. So here, yeah, it's a bunch more stone and dirts and more stones and sands. And then here we got grand opening for Nethermind. Oh, there's someone in here. Best of luck with the new shop. Thank my end Kickstarter of shop. Ooh. Oh, is this this is Leslie's shop. Okay. I'm here snooping around in their shop. Did they leave? Nope, someone else left. Okay. Cyan? Oh, oh, okay. I think I think I think oh, staff only. Shoot. I wasn't meant to be up there. Oh no. If you could add a new redstone component to the game, what would I add? Uh, uh, a hydrate. <laughs> and sit up straight. And um, a new redstone component to the game would I, would I add. Uh, I don't know if I would call it a redstone component so much. I mean, it's usually considered like a redstone component in mod packs, but a wrench that would let you position blocks differently so that like you especially for pistons pistons are so annoying to place when you need them to push in a certain direction you know just be pistons observers like all those you, you could like put them down and then use your wrench to turn them to look in the direction you want them to turn rather than having to like position yourself in in some weird little corner so that you can put it upside down and that sort of thing so yeah that that's that's what i would want Basically a debug stick, yes. Yes, exactly. But that we could actually use. Bucket up stuff, Mew Boy. Some items may not be stocked yet. What is meant to be in here? Buckets of lava! 16 buckets for 2 diamonds, 32 buckets for 3. 8 buckets of lava for 1 diamond. Boy! I should have been in here earlier. Animals upstairs. Uh, oh, for... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I wanted to ask for one for Christmas, but I found out it can never work in survival. Yeah, the, the debug stick is tied to being in creative mode. So, that's why I would want a specific item, like a wrench, that would be tied to that particular mechanic. And it's in mod packs. So it's possible. I've used those things so much in mod packs and it makes me crazy that I can't use them here. Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of, that's some really neat. It looked much nicer on uh, something that was dark. But Astro Art by Astropelia. Are they selling Astro Industries? That's really cool. Up, down. Are they selling their letters? Valorant sprays? I don't play Valorant, so my neighbor Totoro stickers, Karomi stickers, limited rotational, uh, balance. I feel like someone bought and forgot to take one. Work hours, one of three, one of three, one. Oh no, okay, so work hours and, and okay, so these are each one of three for six diamond blocks each. I'm kind of curious. Let's see what work hours looks like. Oh, that's cute. Oop. 
Why are we crying? Why are we sad? Are we sad because we don't get a bug stick? I'm sad that we don't get a bug stick. Lunny 3 for all your copper needs. Copper, 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 copper. Man, these copper shops are really, are like, they sell a lot now. They're really going to be hopping once the uh, new copper blocks show up. Copper blocks. And then we got the Moss Boss, owned by Astro Galactic. Astro G, the Moss Boss. Uh, bulk orders, and we got more moss and moss and more moss, 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 and more moss, moss or menos, moss or menos. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what it, th this full thing is gonna be. I haven't been so excited for a new MC version in forever. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not happy about all the villager changes, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I, I, and I honestly, oh, that is so rude. Tay, your bush is rude. Welcome to the horning goat. And these are just, um, they're regular goat horns, but they've been renamed cool things and they've got cool lore on them, but you can, oh, I can't hear horns because I'm. And all horns have the same cooldown, so you can't, like, spam a bunch of different horns. Oh, no. And, oh, that's, that's that corner. Okay, so I think if I speed run it, five, uh, we got Desi's Bud of Quartz by Decimal Point. Uh, Smooth Quartz Block, Bulk Blocks of Quartz, Block of Quartz. Uh, Desi is now selling for five diamonds per stack. Prices have gone up because of demand. I am lucky that I have got everything I need for my current, um, current thing. Treasures, Trinkets and Treasures by Oasu. Trinkets and Treasures floor, zero. You got Santa's Snow Guard. Death Tokens for five. Okay. I didn't realize that, uh, Oasis was actually selling tokens, too. You got one death token, though. So I guess I'm still the lead purveyor of tokens and then we got i buy shop oh that's really sell certain monthly items here i buy oh oh okay i understand um i knew always this sold crate stuff i just didn't know about the tokens because tokens and crate stuff don't always necessarily go together um buying anarius boots anarius boots are pretty nice for 192 blocks. Okay, that's, that, and that's a nice way to do it, where you put it all into um, a shulker and let them do that. I buy personal Chucky Switchblade, the Viper 2.0, Casper's Cloak, Miner's Torment, Rocket Smite Wand. Okay. In order for the server to function, we must AFK for the brain to work. Uh, quest buyback closed. Shop storage. In about 33 minutes, people will be punted from the server. There will be more room then. All right, and I fell down in the hole. Okay, and then we got three minutes. Can we go more? Aquamazong's music box. You got all the discs in here, including the one that uh, threw me off the other day. What is it? Oh, they don't, they're not renamed anymore. All my name things have broken in my resource packs. One of them was called Pickle Pickle Pickle. Okay, Astro Galactic has... Feel free to explore the mini biomes below. What is this shop, Astro? Is this a service shop to... To make stuff? Stock your shop. Oh, yeah. Stock your shop. Basically, you pay Astro to keep your shop stocked. But uh, Astro cannot sell they're stocking services for less than the product that they are stocking with, so um, you're going to be paying a uh, premium to keep your shop stocked. So basically you're paying extra if you want to be lazy and not close your shop. Uh, so this is a mushroom shop. Nether shrooms are upstairs, regular shrooms down here. Close that door. Welcome to Shrooms & Co. owned by Shettle. We're almost done with this street. We're almost done. 
Uh, all your infrastructure needs in a single shop. Welcome, pay a visit. Sign shop by Luigi. Roads and bridges. Okay, so you can uh, pay Luigi to build you a road and or bridge. That is pretty cool. I might actually need that. I can think of a couple of places I could not... I could use a new road. Uh, bamboo for you. Bamboo and bamboo accessories. Store owned by... <laughs> Store owned by Blackout Zero. Okay. Uh, yeah, good old days when Rosie and me both had mushroom shops. Yeah, it's it's been a hot minute. Uh, bamboo, more bamboo, all the bamboo. Oh, they want me to climb up. This is very dangerous, okay? I could accidentally punch one of these and your entire shop goes down. Scaffolding. Scaffolding's expensive, man. And then we come up, and we come up, and we come up, and I can't... Ugh. How am I supposed to get up there if... Oh, I take one of these outer ones. We still got a couple of roads left to do. Doop, 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 doop. I have no idea how Skitter's going to get out of here. I have no idea who puts Skitter in the box. Nobody puts Baby in a box. Who did this to my four Skitters? Anyway. Uh-oh. It's the one who likes to float me. Alright, so yesterday we did the road. We got done with cyan, which means we still have red, blue, and orange to go down. We're going to go down these roads. Red. Red, red, red. Red, 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 red. And we're going to start on this side, over here. So here we're starting out with Vision Services. Vision Services is owned by Taters. And... Basically, Taters designs stuff, and Taters designs some amazing stuff. So you just come in here, and here's reviews, and you know, here's where you can take a look at all the different type of builds that Taters can do for you, and all different other stuff Taters can do for you. And it's just really great. And Tato and uh, Vision Services has been in existence for quite a while. Like, this particular shop I know has existed here in this spot since the new shopping district opened. And I'm pretty sure there was also a shop in the old shopping district. So, that, that's, that's that one. If you need services, designs, and whatnot, that's the place to go. Alright, here we've got Snow and Ice by Natalie. Natalie Snow Globe. You got lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of ice. And here we got some, uh... Completely out of stock blue ice. We got packed and bulk snow blocks and bulk snow, bulk packed ice, bulk regular ice. Notice there's no bulk blue ice. Here's here's a reason why blue ice is such a pain in the butt. Okay, we got it, we got it. Blue ice to make blue ice takes nine pack ice. To make a single packed ice, it takes nine regular ice. So doing math to make one blue ice, you need 81 regular ice so like if you make an ice farm you're getting regular ice 81 of those will give you one blue ice and you can't auto farm it because you got to silk touch it and you can go out in the resource world and just blast away a bunch of uh icebergs but that takes a while and then you got to deal with the water and all that other stuff all right so here we got mocho man's dirty boy ink where you can get dirt, dirt and grass, and more dirt, more stinky coarse dirt, a regular coarse dirt, and more stinky coarse dirt. All right, so yeah, it's just, uh, oh, smelly podsole. Well, hello, Queenie Rating. Hey, Becca, nice to have you here. Thanks everyone for the raid. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to getting raided, so I'm a little thrown off and, um, you're probably not coming in from uh, Minecraft. We're here on the S&P server that I play on, and we're in the shopping district looking at shops. I was giving a tour of all the shops. Hey, Queenie! Uh, for those who aren't aware, Becca and Queenie are two of the amazing mods for the Sneak Discord. Uh, Sneak being a very good energy drink. Uh, they moderate that Discord with me. They're both much better at it than I am. Uh, yeah so yeah we hang out a lot uh not really doing minecraft though let's see we got uh cybers 
Sniffer's name is Jelly Bean. Oh, it's the baby, the baby Sniffer. And they put a mustache on it in, in honor of uh, November. Mustache November. Men's health. Men, mental health. Men's mental health. Men's health. It's all important. And it, it starts with an M, whichever one it is. So you can get a bunch of different, uh, let's see. What were you playing, Queenie? What were you playing over there? Valorant? I think Valorant's what you play. I have no idea. I'm terrible at first-person shooters, so I have trouble keeping track of them all. Uh, let's see, we got Spruced Up Wood, Call of Dragons, then switch over to Fortnite. Yep. Fortnite, man, I'm already bad at first-person shooters. You want to throw some building into that, too? Ain't happening. Mm -mm. You, you may as well just uh, TPK me now. Just put me out of my misery. We got Spruced Up Wood, Wood Bulk and Wood Orders by Ice Shop. Uh, do they, does Ice Shop really do bulk orders? Because I could keep that in mind for the next time I need a bunch of Ooh, leaves. Bulk leaves? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There is no bo no builds, which I do. Yeah, I'd, I would still suck. I'm terrible. I like, I don't have the hand-eye coordination for it. I get too panicky. Like, if I can hole up somewhere and just sniper rifle people from afar, then, then I'd be good. But Alright, so we got Mocha Man's name tag shop, which is literally just name tags. All the name tags you could possibly want. So many name tags. Name all your things. If you love it, name tag it or it will disappear. Me to let's be the We Suck team. They they are some amazing shops and I'm I've just got like three aisles left to go. But we have seen so many amazing shops in here. And it's all player based and uh, like the player economy is all diamonds. Oh I gotta like climb stuff. No. I gotta climb to the top. Also, SD, which skin do I have on? I have on my own personal skin. Let me take off my gear. This is my personal skin. I am very green. I've adjusted one that I've been wearing for years. It's, it's really great. And let's see, can I give you a back view? There we go. There we go. You can see my hair just hanging long and luxurious down, down my back there. So yeah, and, and this new skin actually has my glasses. Like, the old skin didn't have glasses, and now the new skin has... Oh, oh, these are spawners. Why did I... Th For some reason, I thought this was a blaze, blaze shop. We got actual monster spawners. You can buy monster spawners in here. That's pretty cool. Let's see, can I... Ah! My spleen! Yeah, no. This is why I don't parkour. Uh, say hi to Boinks if you're in the shopping district. Where is he here? Where is he at? Is he hiding in his shop? Is he waiting for me to come by and buy out all his wool again? I could do that. Can I? Oh, I know why I didn't make that jump. I took my gear off. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, now that I have all my super elite gear. Woo! Oh, spleen. Okay. He's having an adventure at MP Shop. Is he lost in the ancient city shop? I think that one's like over that way. It's not far behind my shop. Yeah. Okay, so that was... Uh, on Palin. Owned by... Yeah, I, I have no idea what are, what we're going for here. Uh, on Paw In. Paw On In? I don't even know. It's meant to be a uh, spawner, I think. There's another shop over there that looks like a spawner, too. There's a couple of spawner shops in here. I, I wonder how much business they actually see. Welcome to the Cozy Candelabra. You can do the elevator down. Boop. Oh, this is pretty. I love all the candles. You can get your candles. I was starting to say earlier, we've got a diamond-based diamond economy. So everything is, like, you know, priced by the diamonds. Uh, sometimes it's priced by... Diamond blocks if it's something that's really, really valuable. And to get the diamonds, you just go out and mine it, or you sell stuff. Like, it, there's there's no plugins or or game-generated currency or anything like that. It's all blood, sweat, and tears. Alright, we got the Forge here, owned by Voltic Eagle. 
which looks like it's uh fuel sources that's what all this is okay yeah because charcoal and coal and blaze rods and yeah it's all fuel sources cool that's really neat um this terrifies me i know i think in theory i can't walk into that but i don't want to chance it so i'm not going to put my face in there because with my luck it it it's just just big enough for me to stick my face in I don't know what the hit block is like. And there's a free plot. A free plot on red? Wow, that's actually pretty close to the front. Okay, so here we've got Fruits Furniture Services, a.k.a. the FFS. <laughs> Owned by Fruit Man, who is notorious for uh, using words that... There you go. Start with F. Uh, welcome to the FFS and Fruit Designs Furniture. Just lots of lovely furniture. You can come up here. You can look. Uh, I guess there's not as many examples as I thought there might be. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Woo! I cannot believe I aced that landing. I totally thought I was about to eat poop. All right. I was about to eat this carpet. <laughs> um... Fruit is also one of the very good designers, and for those, how's my weekend been? My weekend's actually been pretty good. Uh, I've been playing Skyrim and hunting for cheese. Shush, Taskin. I've, I, I've. You're gonna get squirted with the squirt bottle if you're not careful. Ah! Thanks for the subscribe, Cat Casey. Casey is another one of the amazing moderators. Actually, just got moderator of the year over on the sneak energy drinks discord well deserved well deserved the amount of stuff that casey puts up with i i don't even know i would not be able to mm. i'm gonna treat myself to some uh rocket punch num, 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 num. we're just doing a little tour of the shopping district on the minecraft server i do minecraft on the afternoons and going up uh, Skyrim on the week and the evenings. Shh. No, I'm not getting shush. I will sing your praises to the top of the world. Oh yeah, Casey's also the reason that I'm getting so many shoes. If you guys have been seeing my shoe pictures, that, that's, that's Casey. They're amazing shoes though. They're so green. I'm so excited. I haven't had new shoes in forever. It's about the heavy. <laughs> It's a very pink shop. Uh, Sakura Dream. We sell cherry wood. Property of Ray's IT. Oh. Oh, this is one of Ray's new shops. Okay. I, I can't wait. The custom ones arrive Thursday. I think. Yeah, no, there's a lot of pink shops in here. You would love some of the builds on this server. They're just like pink as all get out. Uh, the custom ones arrive Thursday. And some of the ones that I just ordered, <laughs> they don't really play Minecraft. Send in an application. I probably have to get the Minecraft in order for them to want to do that. Destiny Nerd, just follow. Thanks for the follow. I'm, I'm trying to look at like four different things at once and I keep turning my... Uh, for, for those wondering, my second monitor is off to my left. So every time I look over there, I move my actual character in that direction. Uh, the End is Near by Nyx. This is Nyx's other end shop. And this is the one that has actual like end stone and uh purper in it this is what freed peskin from having to have the uh purper shop and some end rods and so thankful yeah yeah i know it is so obnoxious it's the <laughs> it's one of the i'm not gonna say it's one of the worst things to farm but it is definitely one of the most tedious and i was a little relieved to be able to not have to do it myself and here we've got uh, Geezer and Gif and Gazettes. All books, two diamonds each, or two diamonds for three books, unless otherwise marked Swift Sneak, Soul Speed. All right. Swift Sneak and Soul Speed are different prices because they obviously get obtained in different ways. Like, you can make books from villagers and from uh, enchanting tables, but... Soul s Swift Sneak and Soul Speed. I was about to say Soul Sneak. Man, I'd love some snow s Soul Sneak. Soul Sneak on my pants. 
but yeah, those two you have to obtain either by hunting for them or hunting for them, I think. I think that's, oh, trading. You can trade with piglins for the soul speed. All right, so here we got extra life, return from the void, which, hey, it's a bunch of me. Totem of Undying, you too can have me in your life. You will carry around a little me, but only if you put on my resource pack, same resource pack that I'm using. So yeah, I think this is all Totems of Undying. Yeah, it's Totem of Undying. Very, very helpful. And on this server, if you're not aware, you don't actually have to hold them in your offhand. You can just... Why am I down so many hearts? I'm going to eat a pickle. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, yeah, you don't actually have to hold it in your offhand. It can just be anywhere in your inventory. And if you die, it'll bring you back, like, instantly. Uh, Terra, owner of Burgerax, I think. I don't, I, that's one of those names that I can't pronounce. Oh, there's Terracotta in here. Look at all the Terracotta. And Bulk Terracotta. And I think, oh, Glaze Terracotta this way. This is where I got the Glaze that I needed the other day, because I couldn't be bothered to, uh, smelt it myself. Yeah, see? That was all me. I didn't need, like, a whole lot of it, so I was able to just... Alright. Oh, Ice Shot. Ice Shot. We just visited their shop. I forget what shop was Ice's. But we visited it. Here we got... What do we got here? Ad break coming up in five minutes. If you're not a subscriber, you're going to see an ad. Sorry. Don't make the rules. Uh, the Medieval Mug by Voltic Eagle. This one, I think, is a head shop. Like, themed... It's, specifically towards uh, mugs of stuff yeah hey becca b just subscribed thank you becca for the subscription and uh yeah now you don't have to deal with ads really sweet really sweet uh, is that the only mug set voltix got in here i guess i'm getting lost going around the corner uh, it's kind of sad that you're suddenly not going to get the ads because uh, someone was saying something about some really weird ads showing up on my channel. I need to look into that. What? Oh, I don't want to try opening that door because with my luck it's a private door and then I'll reveal secret uh, mod powers. Let's not do that. Hype, 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 hype. Yeah. Get a, get a hype train going. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, Natalie's frames. I don't know what I would do with a hype train. Oh. You know what I just realized? Are you guys trying to get me killed? Are you guys trying to get me to the 300 mark so that all, of, all my people here are going to kill me off? Yeah, they're planning on hunting me. No, I hate ads too. I'll do almost anything to avoid ads. Welcome to Natalie's Frames. Very nice. You can buy all the frames you need. We do have... Yes, yeah, see? I saw through your ploy. I saw through it. Uh, I am just standard item frames. Are these the invisibles? Yep, invisible item frames. It was sensual mayo. Ugh. Uh, I don't... Mm, no, that just... That's too many. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Fruits, mystery meat machine. Free one a day. Okay, let's see what kind of mystery meat we get. Uh, what I get? Oh! God dang it! No! Gassed. Alright. I see you've discovered the new ones. Yeah. Oh, I almost just spit my drink everywhere because I glanced over and I saw. Yep. Sitting up straight, hydrating, listening to, to Peskin Birds. I might have to like deactivate the other alert noise that comes along with these things because that uh, overlaps a bit. Uh, black market lungs stolen from multiple bodies, sold on the black market to be eaten with bread. Posture check, sitting up straight, doing all the things, do it all at once, all at once right now. Um, yeah, I almost spit my drink everywhere because I glanced over and I saw black market, market lung. That's a little much. Yeah. Just a whole string of them. Yeah, so this is Fruit's other store. I think I mentioned yesterday you can only have two stores at a time. Uh, Fruit does food. So much food. This is one of those stores that have been around for like super ages. I gotta straighten out that pickle. Alright. 
Okay, just, yeah, all the food that you could possibly need. I got some hay bales, which is food for horses. Hay is for horses, but grass is sweeter. And then you got the elevator to come down here. And uh, there's seeds. And there's uh, mumu juice and eggies and feathers. And the eggs were being bought out rather quickly. Are eggies? Yep, okay, eggies are currently there. Uh, someone was making a lot of cake, is what was happening. I'm going to swim up. Whoosh! Ha <laughs> ha! But yeah, so you got Fruits Farmer's Market. And this is one of those shops that has been around for like forever and a day. Ad break starts in one minute. Did you have only RP today? Not sure how many sneaks you've had in a day. Um, I did have some candy apple this morning. And right now I'm working on the Rocket Punch. Um, how many sneaks I have in a day really depends on whether I work a full day or not. Like, I'll have a little bit more if I work an actual work day. Especially Wednesday and Thursday, because I have D&D from 8pm till midnight. So, you know, that kind of eats into my brain time. Ad starts in 30 seconds. Fair warning. Okay, so this, this shop here, uh, Lightology, it's owned by Fenris right now. It was originally owned by Tato's Vision Services. But Tato's had to take a little bit of a break, and uh, keeping up with the light shop was uh, a bit of a task. And they didn't want the shop to just completely disappear because uh, Lightology has been on the server for years, like almost as long as the server's been around. So they asked if anyone would want to take it over, and Fenris offered to take it over and wound up giving up his uh, mushroom shop, which we saw the uh, re, re, re ownership over on that side yesterday. But here's something else that's really interesting for those who aren't aware Tato's and Fruit are actually twins. Yeah, candy apple, my beloved. It is, it is an amazing flavor. I'm only mildly sad that it's in the 15 serving containers because that didn't register in my head when I was buying them. So in my head, oh, ad break. If you're a subscriber, you don't see an ad. And if you aren't a subscriber, you don't hear me now. Uh, yeah, so in my head, I was getting plenty of tubs, but it turns out it's not plenty of tubs because it's only about half as many tubs as I thought it would be, even less than, so bell so yeah so now i'm like oh my goodness my supply of apple is not nearly as much as i thought it would be so we've been in this shop before who's following me someone's jaywoo it's a jaywoo hello jaywoo jaywoo is always known by the signature turtle helmet right there yeah uh i've been in this shop before this is the plushie shop you've got like all the staff are in here and the best ones are over here. You got me in my original, my original outfit. Let me see if we can see me sitting. There's me sitting with my little hat. I used to wear a hat con constantly. Welcome back. Welcome back. Only, only bears outlet plushies. Hmm. Link bear, Barrio, hot bear, fancy bear, Bearden. Yep, yep, yep. Savage. Want another go of it? Oh man. If, if it came out again, oh, <laughs> Jay will put me on your head. <laughs> That's silly. Silly Jay Woo. Let's sneak out now. But yeah, that's Rosie's, Rosie's uh, plushie shop and then Rosie's other shops over there. We'll, we'll get there. I think I've talked about Rosie's shop a couple of times now. When we were like, when we were at Rocket Shop. Uh, Bucket Buddies. This is, let me see if I can find a sign for it, because I know who owns this. Thanks for shopping, Bucket Buddies. More upstairs, fresh fish. There we go, it's Skitter Shop! Yeah, I would buy like another 12 tubs probably just to make sure I still had it. And I'm still working my way through all the other tubs. Like, I've barely made a dent in my deep secret from last year. But yeah, you can get all the different fish that exist in Minecraft in a bucket. So they're still alive when you put them in your water. They won't be alive if you dump them anywhere that's not water, though. 
buckets of puffer fish. Ooh. I'm probably going to have to come here when I'm starting to do the redstone for the den for reasons. Don't ask. Don't tell. And that's probably a private door. I'm not going to open that one. Here's the exit. Ooh. All right. So that, ooh, excuse me, was Bucket Buddies. Bucket Buddies. And we got ABC, which I know is a head shop. It's all the alphabet. You can get all the alphabet in all these different forms. Just so many different forms of alphabet. Letter number blocks are four diamonds per block. Rat King owned by only ferns. Yeah. And yeah, it's just letters, numbers. It's really, really quite straightforward. You, you need letters to put on the front of your shop. You can come to ABC. A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. All right, enjoy one freeze two per day. Press button below for you. Oh man, you get so many, so many foods. I got nightclub. What is this? Uh, the vending machine by Siltus. Now open. Please recycle your bowls. Please recycle your bottles here. Uh, enjoy one free stew per day. I've already got my free stew. And then you come up into the shop and you got bottles and bottles. You got nightclub. Uh, jump force jump. <laughs> you got some piston push. You got some 50 shades of G fuel. No, gross. Don't only I get one tub of villainy flavor put through some random older permatumps. Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's the other rough thing. I've got like I have an old font stealth tub that I'm still drinking from. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm not a good good example of a proper sneak consumer. Framed co-op by Brigadie. I'm going to eat my soup real quick. Oh, what'd I get? What'd I get? I got, oh, I got night vision, which I already get because I have night vision goggles. That's okay. I'm going to put this here in that bucket. But yeah, um, I also have uh, an old blank sitting around here somewhere. I know that's, I think that's your favorite, the blank. Uh, item frames. This is just an item frame shop. And it's fine that there are multiple item frame shops because I find that if I need item frames, well, one shop doesn't have everything that I need. So I got to go to multiple. All right, here we've got Lynx's Woodland Wares Outpost by Lynx. And you got wood and you got leaves. See what I mean about it? Uh, nice, I love me and Blake. I have a few scoops from the tub you got in fall of 2021. Uh, that was, that, that was a couple years back. Was that the original run? I think that was the original run. I, I could tell you something, but I can't tell you something because it'll... Oh, it, that means it's medication time. Time to take my brain meds. Uh, okay, so we do this and we do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, crap, I almost forgot about the event, too. We're going to quickly look at Mobs R Us. This is Marshy's... Uh, Spawner shop got cave spider spawners and spiders and zombies and skeletons and oh gas 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 are the worst they killed me in hardcore um i'm gonna do these last couple shops before the event just to get them done beacons beacon kits nether stars wither skulls bring home the beacon by rexasasasa uh, if you need a beacon you can come here if you need a full-on kit for your beacon you can also come here i don't think there's any kits left oh here we are beacon kits give you everything you need to set up a be basic beacon and then you've got uh the plushie emporium by lucy lucy has down yep and then you come here and you've got more more plushies Lots of plushy shops, lots of head shops, lots of uh, wood shops, and they all make sales. So don't ever see that there's a shop uh, currently existing and think, oh, I can't possibly make money. Um, uh, 
this is Lucy's other shop, which is the nightclub, and it's full of potions, and she, you know, you can open those up in your, oh. I received a, oh, because I already had one in my inventory, so it just, it popped over there. I was like, wait a minute, no. All right, okay, so we did that half. We need to do this half now. So we're going to start here. This is one of my favorite places to go. Red's Rockets. Uh, push push button for a firework sample. Boosh. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. It'd be prettier if it weren't raining. Let's see. Uh, P weather clear. There we go. Let's try it again. Now let's do it at night. P time night. There we are. Yeah. P time reset. P weather reset. There. Oh, did it actually stop raining? Okay. All right. Well, Red's Rocket Shop is full of rockets, both Flight 1 and Flight 3. And then back here are fireworks, multicolor and single color. So, and uh, my favorite thing to do. Hey, fandom! Thanks for the raid! Hey there, everybody. You missed me totally sucking at that, uh, that last game. I I'm glad you took my advice and went and watched Fan instead. Definitely much more exciting, I'm sure. What 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 team were you on? I am terrible with people's names. I think you might have been on red. Because I don't remember seeing you on blue. But I may just have been blind. Posture check! I'm sitting up straight. And a hydrate. Here we go. Mm. You were on red. Good show, good show. Uh, 9 to 5 by Julius Fate. This is a uh, work job block shop, which there was a new one over in that direction that I mentioned. Uh, there would be a second one. Then we come up and, yep, here's all the rest of the work blocks. I have no idea. Oh, it's an ad break. If you can hear this. You hear me. You're a subscriber. Thanks for subscribing. Well, then again, maybe you don't have ads because you guys just came in with the raid. I don't know. I don't know how all this works. Twitch just tells me if I let them put ads whenever they want, they won't do pre-roll. They need so you guys don't have to sit through ads when you first show up. I figured that'd be nice. Uh, Mason's Market by Six String Monkey. We have ads. Okay. Ads, ads, ads. All the ads. Okay. Uh, so these are... What what kind of shop is this? Mason's Mar Oh, it's the stuff you can get from Mason's. Okay. I haven't had now. I don't know about everyone else. Yeah, you never know. You got bunches of stuff from Mason's, so if you ever need that sort of thing, nothing up there. You know what? I'm going to check anyway. Ah, oh, they lied! Oh, maybe they didn't lie, because there is nothing up here. <gasps> Skitter! Skitter, stop putting... Mud. I'm going to presume that's mud, because I don't want to think of what else that might be. Yay, you're back. Welcome back. I was just looking at Six String Monkey's Mason shop here. Anything that a Mason will trade for, Mason Villager, of course, will be in this shop. So if you need that, go for it. And next door, we have World on Fire. All prices listed in barrels on mangrove planks. Owned by MP. Shops like this always make me nervous because I'm afraid I'm going to fall in. Oh, like that. I almost fell right over the edge. Oh, and this is this is the uh, TNT shop. You can get lots of TNT, even more lots of TNT. Don't let me get a full shulker of TNT. I don't know what I would do with it. Unenchanted flint and steel. Enchanted flint and steel. Nice. Let me just spell that correctly. Nice. Good luck. Alrighty. And then you got all sorts of candles. So you can, you can have nice mood lighting while you're blowing everything up. Great! That is such a nice uh, idea. Fire charges. I almost never use fire charges. I vaguely know what fire charges can be used for. 
Uh, next door to that, we have NP's Other Shop. Ancient City Salvage. Full of creepy wigglers. And then you go around and you go down these stairs. And this is where you find all the Ancient City stuff. Ooh, ah. Ooh, Enchanted Golden Apples. Should I? Should I? You know what? Uh, there's 27. It's four each. Boop, boo. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that. And then we need one, two, three. One, two, three. I can't count. Three, one, two, three. I think. I think that's right. Two, three, four, I think. I think. Is that math right? I got 27. 27 times 4 divided by 9 is 12. Oh, there should only be three stacks. There we go. And drop the calculator. All right. Don't ask what I need all the enchanted golden apples for. I probably won't tell you. Doo -doo. And now here's the part of, okay, I actually found my way out this time. Usually it takes me forever to find my way out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay. Now we got spawners and eggs owned by KTMTJ59, which is just uh, mob eggs, which are empty. Spider spawners. Zombie spawners. Skeleton spawners. God, that's a lot of blaze spawners. Good lord, that's a lot of blaze spawners. And magma spawners. Okay. Why so many blaze spawners, man? Mad Mage's Pyro Playground. For demolition, highly explosive, restocked, rocket CNT, and gunpowder. Our fire round explosive, this guy is nuts. Shop owner, it all good. And then you come here. Oop, oop, ah. And you try not to fling yourself in the corner like I did. You got rockets, you got gunpowder, you got TNT. This is a very explosive shop. Try not to shoot anything. There was one time that there was a TNT shop and someone shot a flaming arrow and it blew up the shop and it was a big mess. You gotta be careful what you decorate your shop with. MX Wolfpack's concrete shop! All the concrete, all the time. One diamond for 32, 50 per shoulder. I came and bought a bunch of this earlier. Drop your powder in to convert to concrete. If you're buying powder, you probably need it as powder. Otherwise, you would just buy concrete, right? Am I mistaken in that thought? That, that's my theory, anyhow. Uh, bamboo. Vending machines put diamonds in barrels. I remember lamp off out of stock. I remember when this was first uh, discussed. It was really cool. I, oh, look at these cute little stickers. And they'd be cuter if that was their invisible item frame. Yeah, you you've, see the payment. Uh, one diamond per 40. Stack of 40. One diamond per 20, one diamond per 40, and then you just do this, a diamond per 64, gosh, that scaffolding is so expensive. And then we have over here, what are you looking for? This is a minor miracle. Welcome to the Bureau of Dihydrogen Monoxide Resources. I don't know how many of you remember when this was a thing. Actually, water buckets do stack. Do they? Don't they? I don't I don't even recall now. Do water buckets still stack? One diamond per stack. I don't think water buckets stack anymore. I know lava buckets don't. I think water buckets don't either. Alright. We're about to hit up the last street. The last street. We got Florises. Mobs and monsters. You can a spawner shop. Thanks for visiting. Elevator. Going down. No. Going up. There we go. It's an up. Okay. So you got coming soon. Spawner egg. Spawner egg. Spawner egg. Spawner egg. Witch spawner. Gas spawner. Mushroom spawner. Mushroom spawner. Ooh. Squid spawner. Spawner egg token. Hogland spawner. Cow spawner. Pig spawner. Glow squid spawner. Stray spawner. 
Skeleton spawner, blaze spawner, cave spider spawner, spider spawner, zombie spawner, and that's it. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Apparently the egg. All right, let me go down. That was Flores' shop. Very, very interesting floor design. And then next door to Flores' we have the Pink Petal Nature Store by Elisver. The Pink Petal. And you've got uh, flowers, all sorts of flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers. Lots and lots of flowers. The Zalia box. This is one is for display only. Ooh, that's so nice. This one is also for display only. Uh, we'll not take the uh, that elevator. And we go down and see what's in the bottom. Oh, all the pretty flowers. Look at them all. They're so pretty. So many flowers. So many drip leaves. You can actually now. Now there's a lily pad recipe. A recipe lily pad. Yep. You can now make a lily pad with four big drip leaves, four vines, and a string, which is funny because uh, you use one lily pad to make a three, make one small drip leaf. And then you can uh, bone mill the small drip leaf into a big drip leaf. So yeah, it's like it's like a circle. It's the circle of life, and it moves us all. What are we showing off? I don't. Mine's better. <laughs> All right, we got Urban Art, which is probably an art shop. We come in here. Ooh, these are cool. Oh my goodness. Has Chap seen these yet? Don't want to be an American idiot. Do -do 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 do 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 All right. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I like this shop. I'm gonna have to come in and buy some of these later. Hey, GL. Ah, uh, the event was certainly a time. I'm I'm not like normally the biggest PVP person. They're like not really my cup of tea. But it was sure interesting. Urban art owned by Six String Monkey. Okay, I was looking for the owner list. Did you enjoy the event? Is the question. I just work here. Conduits are us. Shopkeeper Mayan. Shop designed by Vision Services. Remember I mentioned. And then you got your conduits over here. If you need a conduit, you can come to here. Ooh, whoa. I enjoyed the explosions. Yeah, yeah, the explosions were certain, certainly something. A day to die. Uh, yeah, we're not going to worry about that shop. That shop sucks. Go buy your die over, over in the other ones over there. Because I don't have to restock those other ones. Who is lurking? I see you up there. You've been framed by a Johann Starr. It's a frame shop. So many frames. Buying potions of Dragon's Breath. One diamond block per stack. Do I have any potions of Diamond's Breath? Oh, I think someone's already sold everything to them. I like the difficulty to get in the tower. Yeah, you you kind of lucked out on that last one. Because I had been camping on top of that villager all the way up until the point you showed up. At that point, I was like just spamming the stick out the window having fun with it. But I had been camped right on top of that villager the whole time. And then all of a sudden, it's a Barney! I heard villager damage and I turned around and the villager was gone and you were standing there. <laughs> Uh, the Giant's Pickaxe, owner of Serial Killer, 51. Got all sorts of blocks here that you can buy stuff with or make stuff with. Uh, these are some of my favorite. I am actually getting ready to... Yeah, he's got it in bulk because of me. Um, I'm getting ready to do a build with Deep Slate that needs like 800,000 blocks. But the area I'm clearing is supposed to have like 2 million in it, so I should be good to go. Uh, Mootique. It's a Mootique. 
Uh, 24 diamonds per shulker. One diamond for 64 leather. Moutique is owned by... Who's the Moutique owned by? Where's the owner's sign? It's got to be around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Shop owner Wolvesy. That's so cute. Look at the little cow. And then we got Golem Treasures, which I'm guessing is a copper shop. Now open. Owner Red Byron. Elevator. There we go. Nope. Going down. There. And we turn around. Oh, oh, okay. That was, that was an area I was not supposed to be in. Because that, okay. Ah, here's, <laughs> here's where you buy the stuff. Okay. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. And then we have the final shop on our tour, saving the best for last. We started with the rocket. We're ending with the Rosie. Rosie's Loot Factory, smoothest buyback in town. You can come in here, you can sell your monthly items for a four diamond blocks per item, and then you can buy some stuff. This is all monthly stuff. All monthly. All the time. Oh, do we have... Do we have another pair of mermaid flowers? Probably not. Fun time for... Oh, with the... Oh, for, I thought that was a boink site for a second. Hydrate! Time to hydrate. Mm. Okay. And Freddy is making me hydrate twice. <laughs> Drowning me today. Mm. That's one. Ah, that's two. All right. Put... Uh, Freddy, you know what? Why did I? God dang it. Stupid creeper noise. I should have put that in there. Ugh. Okay. You know me, Freddy. No, this is not water. You're the best around. You're the best. I'm gonna keep you down. 